Hello everyone, well, this and I'll be here Tales the Backbone Preludes for PC. So the game came out yesterday uh, for uh, PC, I think it was only for PC. I uh, can't say for sure, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, so this is the prelude, you know, before the ba uh, Backbone, the, the game that came out one year ago, I think it was. Uh, I played that game, I beat it. Uh, it. It was a cool game, but it looks like the story was cut, uh, like when the story was starting uh, it got cut in the end, like it's missing more the story of that. But this one, it's like before you follow like these four characters, and this one is like you have choice and uh, what you choose. It like takes a like a path or something like that for each one of them, and like that some some uh, dialogues you cannot say, others open, you know things like that. I play I play the demo, so I know a little bit how it works. Uh, so the game is developed by Agnet and published by. Uh, how fury so uh let us start by the way the game doesn't have full screen so it's window and um, borderless as it does clarissa h7 bloodsworth h7 isn't this the grandpa or something like that Should not be something like that, the grandpa? Yeah. Grandpa? Oh, what is it, Clarissa? Uh, what were you thinking of? Me? Thinking of, thinking of something? No, no, no. I was just enjoying the weather is all. I don't go out for walks as much as I used to, you see? I think you were thinking of something. Tell me already. Oh well, I was thinking of a faraway place, one that doesn't exist, Bella. Beyond the mountains, green leaves, rolling hills. Keep listening. Air so clean you could taste it. A place that smells of grass and water, where your lungs are more full than anywhere else. Grandma, that's so Grandpa, that sounds horrible, sure. That sounds nice. It does, doesn't it? It's nice to dream sometimes. You can always imagine the world better than it is now. Someday, you might be able to make it real. Okay, I will try, Grandpa. I have no doubt you'll grow up to be a very special person, you know? I'm sure of it. I'm already a special person. I'm Clarissa. No. I'm gonna say, like, Grandma? Ah, your Nonna, Clementa. Shepherd, bless her soul. Do you miss her? Oh, every day. Their smile, their little chunks of wisdom, and their sass. <laughs> sass? Well, she always stood up for herself, I suppose. Don't it matter if it was a sneak comment or a earth shattering injustice she ever hesitated to tell you if you were out of line grandma sounds pretty cool ha i think the two of you will have been great friends i'm sure she will have loved to see you grow into who you are now uh i'm gonna say this one ah uh, well there's a lot of people out there Cl clarissa lots of people who are good but lots of people who are not <clears throat> how can you tell someone is bad it's not always so easy often times you just know but sometimes, the ones who seem nicest are the ones who will stab you in the back. I'll make sure to pay attention then. That should be more than enough. A lot of people don't. Some will take a split second to decide how they feel about you. And that's that. It's hard not to worry about people think about me, Grandpa. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna say this. That's good. You can spend all your time worrying about what other people think. There's a lot of people in this city. <laughs> And they all have opinions on every or everything. Do people like do people like us, Grandpa, or family? Some do, and there are some who don't. But luckily, we don't need to worry too much about them, and neither should you. Grandpa, I won't, Grandpa. Come, end of fall. The winds will grow, then twisting branch cut the snow. But spring will free what cool here, dear. Give away, give away. For one more ear. What was that, Grandpa? It was pretty. A poem, Clarissa. One I remember just now. I read it a long time ago, but it appears it has stuck with me. Why? I'm not sure, Clarissa. Maybe it's sitting here with you, time and people passing by. Tell me, what will you be when you're older? Who do you want to be? So this is where you start with your uh, trait, powerful, ambitious or cunning. Uh, I'm gonna choose powerful. I want people to listen to me. Clarus won't forget that. To listen? Do you feel people don't listen to you? Uh, some do. 
Oh, Clarissa, you want your fire more alike than I thought. How is Carlo? Is he in Ominov? Does he still uh, tuck you in at night? I was I was gonna say something else. It's like, Jesus, it looks like an F. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Uh, Grandpa, can I come live with you? That will be weird. I, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> which me? Wh which me? With me? Well, you practically do. Shrug. Uh, but I want to stay at the house with you. Family is everything, Clarissa. It's important you spend time with your father too. You can come stay with me a little longer during the summer breaks. How does that sound? Good. Hey, Grab. I love you. I love you too, Clarissa Bella. I couldn't ask for a better grandchild. Now, oh, come on, Bella. I think it's time for dinner, shall we? Okay. I won't say shrug, like, eh. Shrug is like, eh, right? Why would I say that? Tails? The backbone pillows. Like, I enjoyed the first two, the backbone, but at the same time, I agree with some other people. Like, the story changed a lot in the middle, so. Okay, Clarissa, you aspire to become powerful when you grow up. So here you can switch to to persons and see the, the paths that you are taking. Continue. Of course, then there is playability on the game because of different paths that you can take, different dialogue, you know, things like that. Our first year. Tadeusz Hawk, Faculty of the Altars, Lothar. Oh. Huh. Not often you get to one of these marbles. I didn't saw what appeared in the in the right, damn it. Someone help me. I have a lot of uh, luggage over here with me. Empty, guess I'm here early that our clocks are out of fashion. They look like rich kids, can't relate. Oh hey there, a fresh face. Are you here to study? You're new, right? I can I never forget the face. I'm Howard, nice to meet you. Well, Audi Howard, it's not nice to meet you. I'm Wiz Cousin and I'll be your recent assistant and your best friend too, if you want one. Ha <laughs> Uh recent assistant? I keep things running smoothly in the dorms, like your darn boss. But the fun boss, I also organize fun activities, you know, like a boss. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I'll be running smoothly to my room now, if you don't mind. <coughs> I'm gonna say this one. Ah, uh, not just yet. Why not? You see, I like to start things off with uh, new stu uh, fun with new students. Which means a scavenge around. Sure, Wiscos, what do I need to find? Looks incredible, grateful. Oh, yay! Alright then, I find two things somewhere in this hallway. One of them is blue, and the other, the other is new. Coming right up. And now we are like, fuck you! Uh, I think we need to go to that way, right? I don't think uh, it's in here. But you can always uh, look for. Uh, blue, yeah, because that. Something blue, now we need something red. Uh, something red, no, something new. Unfortunately, we cannot run because of the box. Not my room. Where's something new? You to me, there we go. <coughs> now we can go back to Wisconsin and deliver this shit. Let's go and deliver that for him to say where is our room. I think our room is like the last or, or before that. 
I did. Yay, I saw you find them actually, but I didn't want to spoil your fun. It was super fun. Hi. For now, you'll be staying at 304, it's all the way down the hall. I'll see you later. Sounds good. Oh, and your roommate is already there, so don't be surprised if you see a stranger in your room. Cool, thank you, Wisconsin. Thank you very much. And by the way, to play this one, you don't need to play Backbone, because it's Prelude. Yeah, Prelude is not a sequel, nothing like that. If you never play the uh, back one, don't worry, but you can play this one without the problem. Uh. It's a beautiful room! Okay, so that's our roommate. Larry. Uh. Well, what's up, loser? I know. Hey, that box looks heavy. Yeah. Cool, do you want to put it down or something? Nah, I'm working mm -hmm. on my sir. Cool, cool. Well, when you are done working out, pick up a bunk and put it down there. Yeah, sure. The two beds are out same size, but you can't tell the much someone isn't on the top bunk. The lower one is flat, but seems thinner. You can will begin to shove your possession into lower match, which turns cushions their weight gently. I think you can run, but probably not. Probably I was mistaken. <laughs> or probably you can't now. Bottom bunk, huh? perfect. I already had my heart set on top bunk. I feel so you can have it. It's not my hour. Larry, appreciate it, Howard. Well, thoughts so far? On what? <laughs> the university, the dorm, everything. Oh, did you meet Wisconsin in the hall? The scavenger and uh, how was it? It was alright, didn't take long. It was pretty easy, wasn't it? Pretty true it. Then again, I wasn't carrying a big box when I got uh, here. Let's have a talk about the box. Sure, talk about you, man. Tell me about Howard. What do you want to know? <laughs> I don't know, man. How come you are here? What you are studying? Uh... The cool shit. Photography. No kidding, that's cool man. Do you have a camera? Uh, a really good one, actually vintage. Doesn't it mean it's all that shit? Anyway, I guess you are the expert. So why photography? Uh, investigative. For what it is, man, that sounds cool. There's a lot of uh, to show for sure. I, kind, I think our kind has a unique perspective on things too. I got a feeling we are going to become be uh, great friends, Howie. Me too, man. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck yeah, Howie and Larry, roommates extraordinaire. Tell me about Larry. Alright, alright. Well, I'm here to study, you know what? Why don't you guess? I bet you can't. What are the stakes? Have you had lunch yet? I'm starving. There's a place around the corner here on camps that I want to try. You guess my major and I'm paying. You don't? You pay. Deal? Deal. Uh, Sweet. Go. Tell me that, what are you studying? Fuck. Classic cards, fuck. I was thinking classic cards or the last one. I chose the last one, damn it. What, what? I don't look like type? Uh, nah, you do. Well, either way, I'm not paying for my lunch today. You ready to grab it right away? Sure, let's oh, go. Man. Fuck, man. It was classic cards. You chose to be investigated, keep your keen eyes and your mind sharp. Okay. That's the trait that I chose, but that's a trait. Of course, then as you saw, he was excited when I say that thing about being friends. Gene. Right. Gene Wilson. Do, that was, of course, stepping high by Bravo. This marking their 10th consecutive week at the top of the charts. Tell us stuff. Now, before this DJ signs off for the day, it's time for today's stories. 
Cassius Perth, Minister of Science, announced today that he will be stepping down from his position after 15 years of service. In a press release, he stated that he was satisfied with the work he had done in the past few years and was looking forward to his retirement. Um, time for a change. A society credit being chosen and a press release from the headquarters of Minister Science City stated that the suitable candidate will be announced within the next week. Uh, in other news, locals in West End are still healing from the fire that ravaged an entire internment block. Uh, you can say that one. I don't think there's nothing over here that matters what you choose. The fire which claimed a number of lives has been reported as an unfortunate accident as a result of a gas leak. Gas leak? Get, forget about that because I know then there is something that you need to, uh, to say that you need. it's about this. The police department has sta since stated that they will be investigating other at-risk buildings in uh, the area of for similar issues and are asking citizens to cooperate. Our thoughts and prayers are with the uh, unfortunate souls lost in fire. That's all for it. Uh, okay. Gas leak. All right, Rene. The article isn't going to write itself. Get to the office and get to work. Ah, oh, the light. Shit. Holy crap. Stand up. Kitchen. <gasps> the fridge. No, we don't eat anything. Look outside. Ah, oh, it's beautiful outside. Okay. In the kitchen we don't have anything to do. We need to go to the to the office like she said. So let's go for it. The fish bowl. Hey that pretty. Shocks on you looks, I can't clean your office if you always keep the door closed. No, that's the office. Damn it. Oh, you can get back over here because I want to see what what there is more over here. <coughs> Use it to keep my typewriter here. Back then we move in. There's some tents. Oh, save some energy. It's too expensive. Oh yeah, you need to do this. Yeah. There we go. Organize that shit. Oh no, I don't need to take a shit. We save we save energy. The bills well, like that will be too high. We cannot use the uh, light in here. Alright. Uh what do you anything over here? There you go. There we go. Feed the fucking laser. Organize shell. I don't remember this one. Put that over here. A book. We can't put book over here. The clock, of course. There we go. Organize this stuff. In case someone visit to us. The typewriter. All right, computer. So we need to read this because for uh, for the other stuff, if I'm not mistaken, new word. Can I even get a lot of positive response? 
how the hell you walk down? Oh, probably the same thing. Now for game change, well, what's up this week? So I'm going to need to, to work on a follow-up piece at about fire. There's apparently some similar development resistance are worried about the repeat, so I'm getting told to run something that will help settle those concerns. I've attached some of the public reports and the first notice we ran on it. Look what happened and see if there is some way you can spin it into seeming more like a rare accident than a serious fire threat. I'll ask him to report. Alright. This from Lucas. Right. Fire case. This was a big ask on my part. Both, surpri both surprised and proud that my should get to them. Here, here it is. You better not get your help. Sorry for the wait. Uh, since there's much. Uh. Alright, here's the main report. I just wish so much I hadn't been redacted from it. Oh, oh, arrow keys. Uh. All right. So, uh, noon and fifteen on twenty third, I think. I I think it's twenty fourth or four one hundred forty five. I don't know which it's first. That's the problem. West end. Okay. 500 Body was found to the door, Beaver looks to be in mid-twenties Mackenzie arrived at the same time as me and inspect the body The suspect had three bullet wounds, one in the abdomen, two on the torso Wait Three bullets, three bullet wounds, one in the abdomen, one in the torso, and one in the neck. Okay. The one in the neck was particularly gruesome, but Mackenzie's cause was to supply it out. The suspect was wearing pants and suspenders, but no shirt. Top left shoulder looks like was burn mark. Stove, kitchen, leading out of the kitchen and not in. Tools are scattered around the oven, the hatch of which has been screwed off. Here's a statement from the first office, let's see. So the first the first statement at 40, 40, 1623. Oops. You need to click to the to the right with the arrows to be able to go down, okay. At the 11 2 on the 23rd of our city police dispatches. Okay. And arrive at 11 42. Two officers, including myself, were dispatched and arrive at scene around. 11.42 Stone began acting menacing manner, wielding a blunt instrument on left hand. Roe was acting hysterically and all attempts to calm her were met with angry dismissal. So Stone 
blunt the upon left hand. Row uh, hysterical. <coughs> okay. Officer uh, drew his service up and asked Stone to step down. During this time, I entered the kitchen to find a state of the raid. The oval was open, scattered around to recruit tools. I heard a loud yelp from the half hour by gunshot. I drew my service yap on the other doll and found that officer as the shot is up on his service yap on hitting stone in the abdomen. Seeing that my part has been usually I determined that stone will was still a threat and charged my service up twice. Stone was hit in the chest both times, and up to go on the row was in a lot of cells lashing out in the threatening matter and was taken to costly. Okay. The corner attack to arrive at mid uh, at noon. Officer ended the hallway shortly and subdued stun. He didn't subdue each, he shot. Right. I met Dorsey at fire station. This about the fire. At 1.45 on April 14, was in form of a fire, they were deployed at 1.50 and arrived on uh, 14.12. A large explosion on the second floor, later confirmed to be United Gas Leak. Put out fires went on until 14.55 until 6 until 18.45 right A fire erupted in the building in the west yesterday claiming that the entire building in its wake although some tenants were successfully evacuated many lives were lost during the search fire exact number of fatalities have yet to be disclosed as efforts are ongoing to search the remains of the building thanks to the city that uh okay hopefully i don't forget stuff uh, keep staring at the screen like that and your eyes will go will go scare honey Caring or driven? I'm gonna say driven. <clears throat> take your time. Take take your time. Take your time. I, have you been at the terminal all day? Look, sh 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 not. Are you getting anywhere? I think I'm getting pretty decent picture of things. <clears throat> Just to think, it is what I think it is, right? The West and uh... fire. Yeah. Well, how's your research going? Didn't you say you already did? Guy was asking for it earlier. Uh, he wanted something more basic, and you're not giving him something basic, are you? I'm pretty sure I can give him something better. All right, then walk me through it. Sure, where do we start? Let's start at the beginning. Tell me about fire. There were two calls about it, right? Where did that start? Well, it said on second floor. Uh, it, it said that it was between. So I think it wasn't stone because the stone building it was the third floor. Somewhere below third floor. How do you know? It wasn't the first call. It was. It has to be this. Right, so we couldn't have started there, I see your point.
Shit, but it didn't say that. It said that it will be fuck. Uh -huh. All right. So, and when did this fire started? When the fire started? It's not this one. One forty five. I don't think there's nothing saying one forty five. <clears throat> oh, there is one forty five, but it's like this. And how do we know that? Fair enough, alright, at least we have a general time frame when the fire starts. Anything else that comes out of mind? The first image called mentions of smoke when all the cops showed up. Mm -hmm. We usually don't omit that, maybe it was done by a payphone or something anonymously? Anything else? Uh huh, uh huh. I'm not entirely sure how they phrase it, but maybe they focus on something else in the car besides it's not uncommon for us to be sent out to deal with small fires every once in a while. Uh, Signs of past fire, right? If there are no flames and no castle of alarm, why would they want to call it in? Neglect. I know that looks weird, but I'm pretty sure that's just some procedure. There's usually some legal jargon that needs to be added to the damage coverall base. Yeah. Okay, I know you are interested in this part, so let's go over. Tell me about when the cops showed up. Stone didn't want to let, didn't want to let them in. That's usually the case. No one likes having cops showed up uninvited. How much less having them enter their homes? What was there a reason for the officers to be suspicious? It wasn't smoke. Antagonistic. The fuck that means? Like I said earlier, most people are very late to wear, so it makes them worry they have done something wrong, and if they are, they tend to go. How they did. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck, I forgot now. Force it? Uh, Force him? That's uh, not right. Are you sure you remember that right? Alright, well, either way they get in. What's the reaction from Stone? That checks out, yeah. In, in what way? Like having a knife is threatening, right? Ooh. It actually no, not, but not cost to force unless he was in criminal file, I suppose. Then what happened? All right, I think I remember this part. First off, the ghost to engage here, say yell and comes back. Do you know precisely what happened in the hall during stone attack at the second officer? Right, right, does that report specific how? Alright, and then one, blunt. Alright, he came at them with a yap and then responded with force. I'm sorry, Rene, but this is all according to protocol. Uh. You say it yourself, Rene. He attacked the officers first. You doing okay, do think this whole case is a lot, isn't it? It's okay, I've seen worse. Well, I'll try not to get used to it, Rene. It's not healthy. Chips away at your sanity. What about you? What do you make uh, of it? But isn't completely convinced. Damn it! I don't know, it might not be as clear as I thought it was, but I still think you are jumping to conclusions. Rene, 
can answer think mistakes more than anything. Messy paperwork gets making situations even more suspicious than it is. I don't know how much more there might be, Rene. I certainly can't ask for more files without good reason. I hate to break it to you, but what you got might be all you're getting. Uh, all right. Fine. Well, I'll help what I, when I can. Just don't get your hopes up too much. All right. For now, how about dinner? I'll order something for us. Sure, sounds good. I'll get you something from that noodle spot you like. All right. Finish up your with thermal. I'll go make the call. Love you, honey. I love you too. Damn, I think it was that part that I fuck up. I think it was that that uh, didn't make him convinced, it, unfortunately. You managed to convince Lucas that some of your concerns regarding the case were founded. Okay, it's like not 100% that I could convince him, but he, he got convinced, like, let's say 50% about that, which is not bad. Okay, this is all Ellie. This one was an interesting one. I remember this from the demo. That this guy is investigating something and I think his uh, uh, mate appears or something like that. August 40 is still alive, believe it or not. No signs of radiation poisoning in either of us. We have been hit by the storm, however. But it's been manageable and far from danger as we were led to believe. To be fair, that's expected according to George. No team HQ sent outside the wall as they return, which means our research on the R is extremely limited. The sun's been harsh lately and it's been a short to get any work done during the day. So that said, I'm enjoying field work. We don't really stray far away from the dig site. There's plenty of work to do, promise you work. We are out here until we get results, whatever that means. I'm confident we will. I look at the site every day, the pods, the markings. I find myself wondering whether we should be here. It's out there right now. Today's the day. He told me this morning. He's been saying that all week. That said, he seems to be my academic background as a shortcut of paying my dues. Alright. Progress aside. The past few days have been strange. George mentioned a low hum from the side, and we are both feeling unexplained unease. Cynic, realist, idealist, realist. The sun is brutal, even when filtered through the dust clouds, no doubt I'll make you a little woozy. Our work is important. George will agree with that, if, if nothing else. We could take break, breaks midday when sun is doing its worst. There will be other things. The dig isn't the only thing that needs to be doing. I almost forgot. I had to, had to look at some of my previous journal entries. Uh, progress has come at snail's pace, but at least we are moving. We could be dead in the water, instead we are engaged in a plastic stroke towards a reasonable conclusion. Suddenly a shiver runs up your spine, and you press the pen firmly against your journal. Somewhere outside the tent, you swear you can hear George calling out for you. There's another scream while desperate this time. It sounds distressed. We could hear someone like, Ugh! I wish Josh will tie up his side of that. I'll offer to do it, but he'll never agree. We could hear like someone falling. Where is George? I'm coming. George, are you alright? George, need wait. We need to help George. George! George! Need to go in this also, you know, else that's our argument will struggle. 
turn off the light. Supplies. Dig side tools, of course. I can out of the way and the heat is what gets to me. Should be careful most of what's in here has been exposed to the damage for a very long time. George! It's moving, Ellie! It's fucking moving! The fucking thing, Ellie! Whatever is in the pod, it's slithering! I'll tell you later, for now, help me get this thing contained. Move it! I don't know what thing is, and I don't want to find out while we are out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. On it. He opened the fucking pot. Georgia! Why you did that? You didn't think about that. George, I'm coming! Don't fucking die! Why that light is on? I think it's on. I don't know. What the fuck are you waiting for, ally? Hurry up! Okay, I'm going to twist this thing open again. And when I do, I'm going to need you to hold the container still. I'll twist it, drop it, and you shut it. You got that? There, here it goes. You better be twisting now. Twist it again, now. There, got it, got it. Let me check the pressure. Good, it's in there. I don't know, but we got it under control now. Container, these things are airtight, whatever that is, staying put. Oh. Same as always, I guess. We log it, you should probably give HQ a call after that, I don't know. I'm fine, I just need to process. Just to the container, I think that's where we are supposed to find. I don't know, if it was, I wonder if they would have said just two of us, go on, give them a call, I need a, brief, a briefer. Good job. Good job, Jorge. Not what I thought to find, I've been so preoccupied trying to get that pod open, but I don't think I ever could expect whatever it was. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. You go make the call. Alright, at least he uh, he was he appreciated that we were concerned about him. At least that. Jorge, you are my friend. I will never let you die. A great grinds between the aluminum frame and the plastic dial, and we got tired. The dial itself has loosen slightly, and we've been now that by arid wastelands surrounding you. It's to do you call HQ frequency 94.6. Arc requires a slight twist on the wrist, and the dial rotates to its usual orientation. Hissing builds up, and soon enough, a melodic beep whistles through the treble heavy speakers. That's your cue. This HQ, we read you. All unclear. What's your stats? Copy that, size 06, please describe the finding. Uh, should I lie? I'm gonna lie. Copy that, size 06, please refrain from reporting any special findings in future reports. Thank you for your report. I'm gonna lie, you never know. You avoid telling HQ about the artifact for the time being. Because we can study a little bit before we tell the truth, right? So. so Clarissa Clarissa age seventeen. Ten years have passed and, uh, since uh, when we were kids. I don't think this was on the demo, at least I don't remember. So, this, is this the grandpa? I wonder. 
So I remember many times my congregation asked me what is the greatest teaching of the shepherd father. Each time I give them the same answer. Rebirth, I said, that which one that which once was old will be young, that which was frail will be strong, that which was dying will live. But I tell them, it will not be life as they know it. No nights, nor days, nor rain, nor storms. No streets, nor house. A dance eternal, so that we, like he did, may walk through the green hills, fly through the blue sky, and dive in the deep space. Is that what you're doing now, Grandpa? Clarence Bloodworth was a steadfast pillar of city. How you knew him? Will say so. A man of the most reliable, unerringly, uh, he offered advice and tirelessly saw to, to the work that needed to be doing. It takes a certain kind to grow, so he flashed and so respected. While screaming as much as he did, he knew my heart that the blood of the shepherd came first. Family came first, not the apes. A strong man is he who knows his place in the herd. And none were stronger than Clarence. I'll do you proud, I promise. Today, Clarence Bloodworth, in the presence of your loved ones, we shall burn your remains. Today, we set you free. May the flames of the shepherd release you. That you may tread on the green hills. So in the blue sky. And dive in deep and blonde boundless sea. Now a moment to bask in the light of flame. We thank you, Shepherd, and we thank you, all great apes, who in, who in his absence spread his word and will. Our faith is our flame, our light and our warm. Thank you. Mm. Ah, Clayson, my child, my condolence on your loss. Your grandfather was a good man. It was my honor. Your grandfather had tremendous respect for tradition, much in the same way the minister and I great respect for him. Huh? It widens my spirit to hear that. And you, how did you feel about it? Uh, many of you, you understand. With time, you'll realize that there are greater things at work in this in this world than you and me. Not to worry. The shepherd is patient, child. Ah, okay. The artist line on our side, flowers, gifts, and lights to cond of condolence. At center, rising above everything else, lies uh, the white clad body of Clarence Bloodworth, your grandfather. His eyes are warm and gentle, even in the now disclosed picture. Almost in instinctively, while with concern, you search the crowd for signs of your father. He's not here. The crowd. And they beheld from within some great flame, a heart to blaze with righteous wisdom and fury. And they knew and they yielded to him. Candles. Can I buy some candles? No, we can't buy some candles. <coughs> So grandfather dies, of course, with time, passing time, of course, he gets older and older and, you know, he will die eventually. <clears throat> what else do we do over here? Only to get out, is it? These are those scriptures. From what I believe, we are owed. Oh, hello, Miss Bosworth. Our condolences now. Ahem, <clears throat> if you would excuse us. One thing at a time. Don't rush, uh, don't rush us, child. Church, children these days, I swear, and in a church of all place. Is there something else that we need to do? Do we need to be polite to be able to pass? I need some fresh air, but I can't even get out. It's like these people don't even try to listen. 
In the polished surface of the tiles beside the altar, you see some your you see your flesh, tearful, pitiful. You can't help but feel small, and you don't like the sensation. What will you do, Grandpa? The murmurs and the hush of conversation of the of the other tenants grows in volume. There's no response. Why will they be? The realization begins to dawn on you. You are alone. From now on, if you need something done, you will have to do it yourself. Some of them turn back to look at you, but you can't make out what they are saying. Are they talking about Clarence or you? I understand. I'll make them listen. All of them. Where is them? It's these ones over here. Get out of my way! Show some damn respect! Get- What are you saying? Are you confused, girl? Stare them down, out of my way, move now or I'll feed, your sh or I'll feed you your shoes. They won't forget that. My shepherd, someone is in the mall. Alright, alright. Vultures. They won't forget. Fuck them. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Uncle Clemens, Chloe Isabella, you're not going to make many friends acting like that. I don't care about these idiots. These are acquaintances of your grandfather, many of them powerful people. Then they should understand how I feel. Uh, they won't offer you that level of understanding. To them you were just a kid, regardless of who you are, regardless of who your grandfather was. I'll sh show them, they will hmm. see. I'm sure they'll not take notice once you grow up, in more ways than us. How do you deal with all this? Uh, I don't know if I am dealing with all this change. Not just yet, anyway. So, would you want to? I miss your grandfather, but things are about to change and very soon. Whether that will be for the better remains to be seen. Uh, now, yeah. well, your father is going to be in charge, which means a whole new set of palms to grease and a score of opportunities that will need to be pacified. We'll need to keep them at bay. Happy enough, happy enough to back off, but not happy enough to get any of these. See what I'm saying? Is that how it's going to be from now on? Grab has gone and our life just turns into crawl control? Mm -hmm. It's not so bad, Clarice. It's far from an easy life. But then again, what easy life is worth living? Damn right. If you want something to out of your life, you have to claim it for yourself. Maybe so. You tend to take what you, get, you can get, Bella. From now on, let's go. There are still things we need to see. Father first. Uh, I'm not sure that's good, a good time. You should save it for later. Talk to him. Uh, I don't think you should. Uh, I'll see you outside. I'll see you there. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. Like, that style of the game, you know, things like that. It's pretty cool. I think the backbone was the first one. The problem was the story, uh, how it changed a lot, and then it's like it didn't even conclude it. Like there's an opening to continuation, you know. I think that's what was the problem. And then they went to do this one, which was weird. Tell was that crew. I don't think I've seen any of these guys before. They are certainly not dressed for a funeral. They are not here for a funeral. Carlo, who cares if they don't want us pushing on their streets? The money we can pull in gas tower is worth more than all the favors of the old man was able to eke out to of Tadeus and the rest of his rich friends. The old man wanted to be loved by this manor born so bad he was willing to leave money on the table. And let me tell you, boys, that cash is stacked. <sighs> From now on, the notary tells of limit. You tell the other earners that we, Clarissa, what I'll tell you about sneaking up on me like this. You boys hear this? You better watch your tone, Clarissa. Now get lost. I got work to do. Excuse me? The next in line. Have you lost your mind? Even if you were, the Bluebird family never had a woman in charge, and it will never, w and it will never will. I'm your only child, like it or not. Uh, afraid of competition? Some competition, spy little girl. What do you bring to the table? Leadership. You do, do you? 
that's right. And uh, you are saying I don't? That's it. You listen to me, you little shit. I'm the boss of this family. I'm Blood Wolves. What I say goes, and I'm going to give you one last chance. Do you hear me? Now, here's what happens next. You're gonna take a deep breath, you're going to look me in the eye, then you're going to say, I'm sorry, daddy, I don't know what came over me, and you're going to mean it, capiche? Cause I'm doing you a kindness uh, here, do not push myself. Go on, say it. I don't know what came over me. Careful, Clarissa, you don't want to see my bad side. But I can just see it by and watch you fuck up Grandpa's <sighs> legacy. You refuse to back down to Carlo. Whoa, what the fuck? See what you made me do? Learn your fucking place, Clarissa. I'm throwing. I'm through playing nice. Whoa, whoa. It's like we need to show uh, that we are going to try to be the next one, right? But <sighs> Jesus. I saw what happened. Come on, kid, let's get going. Uh, I hate him. I understand, Clarissa. It's been a long day. Are you fucking serious? Uh, I just... No, no, you're right. It's just better if I say nothing. Come on, let's go. Really? Uncle. What the fuck? Hopefully you can face uh, that one. What it says. You confronted Carl, your father, who then proudly slapped you across the face. Jesus, you, cool. you didn't need to make that... That hard, Jesus. <laughs> Calm down, game. <laughs> Hopefully, we can make, uh, f you know, front against father and be the next in line with that choice. You know, powerful, don't say what he wants us to say, but who knows? Howard. It's, 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 it's. Second year university dorms. Whoa, 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 you're telling me you never heard of the cu Cuttle Boys? No, but they sound pretty rad. Fuck yeah, they do. This is a Cuttle Boy dorm. With humidity fed, the bastion of Cuttle Boy dorm. The Cuttle House. I'm so down for that. But listen, man, I got a bunch of other stuff too. Not trying to lock you into a niche or anything. So far, man, I was trying to take something cheap, you know, working my ass off to scrunch up my money for the few I have. Okay, let's say this one. Uh, like, weird jazz kind of stuff. I don't really vibe with the avant garde stuff, but I got the smooth Nikki album uh, that's pretty chill. Sounds good to me. Go on then, go put it. Fuck yeah, I will. We turn off the light because it's expensive for the bills. <laughs> we are in the dorm, man. Oh, you can get out. All right. I'm the hacker player, okay. We take out this one. Is it this? Hold on, Tony Roos laps. Smooth Nikki. Ah, shit. Some jazz. <laughs> Sleeping all over the place. Nice call. Perfect chilly music. Damn right, man. When all this is over and we get out of here, we need to find a huge couch to hang out. Listen to music day in, day out. Huh? Huh? Yeah, man. When all this is over. University, I mean. When we leave and when, we, and when real life begins. I'm gonna say that one shit, I don't want to think about that. Yeah, I don't know though. I find myself dreaming of what we can be, what will be. Purpose be you, me, and a huge fucking record playing in a loft apartment in Yale Town. 
I'm listening. You just figure things out from here, you know? We could set up a corner to be a photo studio or something. Get some art, make some art. You are describing the good life, the best life. Fuck yeah, I am. We set that up. It might even be enough to finally get you late. Me? I get late plenty. But I barely stand up as a matter of fact. Uh, as if you are any better, loser. Hey, it's okay. It's not to play that move. No shame on it. You just need to practice. You think you can do better? Hey man, just because I don't go out seeking robots doesn't mean I should. I don't understand it. It's just not for me. That's just, I, just who I am, dude. You think you could teach me? Uh... To, to flirt now, you need actual experience, some spontaneity and some attraction. Getting out there, you know? To do what? Reconnaissance? Look, here's an idea. I propose a bet. You want to be to bet all how far I bet flirting? Bingo! Call it, what are uh, terms? Hmm. You head out into the hallway. Find someone you like and flirt. That's all. You do good, you win. You do poorly, you lose. Deal? What do I win? Well, the main point is pride and bragging rights. I'll let you have it. Okay. Alright, I mean. Sweet, alright, man. No time to lose and don't stress out too much. We'll see. Alright. Cool. This one is open. Freja and Lily. And Leaf. Uh, you cannot enter. Oh, there she's over here, Freja. You guys have to start turning it up, man. If you are playing smooth Nick in, in there, you got to share the vibe with the rest of us. Hey, I'll be honest, man. Not my first pick. That's it. It's good stuff. Probably chill party music, you know? Cool, cool. I just want to talk to you about Sawyer, by the way. Do something like what? Uh, teen stuff. Stuff that teens do. Blink, blink. You know, I'm gods are two of us. Oh, are you trying to flirt with me? Why, is it working? <laughs> no, yes. Call it. Come on, man. You have to do better than that. You need to be confident, charming, clever. If you want to show someone a good time, you have to be a good time. How would I do that? <laughs> Don't worry, Aoi. You and me, we're going to workshop it. Fix you up into a lead mean flirting machine. Ah, shit. Can I be a banging machine? I'd rather be a banging machine. No, I'm gonna say this one. Yeah. Picture it, Aoi. You are at the party. Tunes are blasting. Bulls and smoke heavy in the air. Fi vibes are fucking... Fan fucking dope-tastic. I'm an arty cutie and I think you are cute. What do you say? I say I'm a photographer and I want to take a picture of you. Oh, it's just a picture? I'll take what I can. Huh. Yeah, no, I see what you're doing on there, Howard. You're moving too fast, though. And the wink, I'll drop it. Very few people can pull off a wink. Um. I'm saying you might want to do it better. See what I mean? Oh, I see, huh? Wink. <laughs> Next up, for sake Prats, hit me with a pickup line. What do you say? Ma'am, you you can ride me like a bicycle. Mm -hmm. Hour. Ma'am. Yeah, it's important to respond. <laughs> oh, sorry, you can ride me like a bicycle, miss. No, respectful. Uh, yeah, it's technically true, but this is shit, man. I think you're overdoing. Let's get back to flirty, shall we? Alright, so, the party's coming to an end, I have to go, but it's clear that our vibes are meshing. Uh, what's your move? Uh... I say I had a waffle time and leave, nee. You should come with me, I'm, I'm way more fun than whatever plans you have. These? Oh yeah, what's that? I can skip rocks like a hundred times? No, this? That sounds kind of nice, Hour. A little boring, but maybe the person you are flirting with will be a little boring too. I happen to like boring people, thank you. Well, no, Aoi. This is just hypothetical. We are workshopping it, remember? 
but what if it wasn't? Look, man, I think you are pretty cool, but at the end of the day, you are just not my type. Whoa! Whoa! Why not? Oh, alright. Was I being too forward? Howard, I'm gay. What? Okay. So we didn't even knew about that, about uh, Freja. Freja think there might be some hope for you at some point. I think that's enough flirting today. Not much progress, but you know, it's not like you were a complete disaster. What could I do better? I don't know, man. Be yourself. Be more confident. Be more chill. Be whatever, I guess. Who knows? Maybe I'm not the right to judge. Uh, probably a little more calm and a little more coffee. Thank you, say. Okay. Interesting. Niles. Okay. I saw you flirt with French over there. I somewhat obvious choice, but I suppose that's to be expected. Probably yes. I, so have you been listening to in the music you have been playing? Can I ask about stuff? Hmm. Yup, uh My deal staying true are making real art. Grat science, sharp observation, Howard. Defi define like Sure. <sighs> Yes, you have to study to like it. Literally everything you see as a sign, everything as a bias, and a purpose that's not a throat, nothing is vanilla. With regards to quality, yes, logic, yes, I never. Agree to disagree. Wisconsin! Hey! Oh, hey, oh, it looks like someone got a bit of a crush on Freya. A blush? Uh, it was for a battle, I wanted to test how good I am uh, flirting. Ah, oh, so you were only hitting on them for the sake of a bet, that's um... You're not worried that will I just let them on, uh, well, uh, I'm just glad you uh, you didn't try all that on me. You wish, Wisconsin! And uh, everything else I can help with? Uh. Uh, there's nobody else. It co it was only uh, Freja. Okay. So it uh, it will be impossible, right, to flirt with her because she says she's uh, gay. So we could never like get her, right? Because let's be honest, this uh, leaf is not over here. It's gonna be a ah, loser. Well, I spoke to Fresh, I flirted a bit. Ah man, Fresh is great. We should hang out with her and her, and her roomie more often, honestly. Uh, pretty sure she feels the same way. Anyway, I didn't figure, I didn't figure you were uh, Fresh's type. How did it go? Not uh, great. Yeah, yeah. alright, well, that doesn't sound like a total disaster. Just a tiny one. Baby disaster, Howard. I'm sorry though, maybe you'll learn something from it at very least. Besides, I don't think you are fresh type anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, you'll get there. You just didn't you just didn't today, like I say. Larry savory the moment. I told you so. Better bet. <laughs> don't worry man, I'm not going to hold it against you. Only every now and then to fuck with you. Can I at least have punch point? Sure, that will bump up you from 0 to something like 3, so the score will be 3 to 42, I'll accept that. <laughs> the floody stuff? Just messing with you mostly. I also, well, I want you to be okay dude, I want to do things we, you want to do, you know? I help you with flirt? What, workship it? Just tell me to do... Yeah. Okay, well, I say uh, you approach, you take all comps, reviews, what you want to flirt with. Well, you can choose Niles, Wisconsin. Uh, uh. Fresh, huh? Mm, I definitely get the appeal, so I'm not sure anything will come of it, but I guess the point is to get you some prides. But, so let's start with you telling me what you like about her. She's so hot. Mm. 
quite intensely. Dude, I mean, uh, she's like one of the most approachable people on campus. Look, if you want to talk to her, get to know them first. Find out their personality, I mean, kind of person that goes well. Fair enough. Alright, workshop over. <laughs> it's just care for you, man. I know I don't say that outright often, but I feel like we both know it. But there's like some amount of responsibility there. I want you around and guess I want you to be okay with it. That's deep, dude. It's just how I feel, Aoi. I'm just saying I'm glad you are my dude, man. My brother, my bro, bro my friend, you know? Aww. I know, I trust that. I trust you. Well, we're out of stuff doing, man. Only one thing to do. Passing out, fuck yeah. Going to sleep. Kissing cute boys. Wow. Kissing cute girls. Fuck yeah. Of course. Ah. No, getting more beer. Oh, getting more beer. Fuck yeah. That's right. Come on, dude. There's a guy I want to meet on the, on the way. Sell six for cheap and has a bunch of other stuff too. Play the way. Holy shit, the paths. And your inexperience became... Painful clear as you didn't leave much of an impression, neither positive nor negative. God damn it. Proud there was a way that you could uh, flirt with Freya and be successful? I wonder. Hene Wilson. I wonder if it will if there's a way to make it. Because she says she's gay, so it's like it wouldn't be possible, right? Only if she, uh, like, invented that? I wonder. Foot's on table. Counter's still a mess. Sometimes the muscles don't appear immediately. Uh, looks impatient feeling with the cuddly. He just got home from work and now he's waiting for you to join him. Okay, let's clean this. Okay, it looks like you cannot put in top of each one. This one's work. Almost on just garbage left. Ah, okay. All this is garbage. They're all done. So that was garbage. I was putting garbage in the thing. Well, turn off the light. Hey, and you are all done. Come on, let's have dinner. Babe, can you just spend time together? There's plenty of time to work tomorrow. Come on, get that butt over there. Hey. I'm gonna say yes. Okay, it looks delicious, babe. Don't know why you keep putting your cooking down. I think you are a great chef. I try. Oh, don't get me start. Tiring, exhausting. But I made it back in one place, I suppose. Uh. 
Gossip, sure, but if I told I'm afraid I'll have to kill you. Guess we'll never find out that. Now come on, your turn. How was your day? It's been slow, not much progress. I'm glad you did too. I want to talk to you about. You did? Well, shoot. What did you want to talk to me about? You did. And what did you find? Fires, like usually, only occur in West End and the Villas. The buildings there are older, aren't they? A little rougher around the edge. Seems reasonable that they will be more of a fire hazard. Then why aren't there more fire stations in those areas? Hmm. Problem on the issue? I don't know. One or two parties should be fine. That way, everything's covered. Looks it's clearly not covered. That's the point. Well, what you propose has changed. They can't exactly predict where the fires will start, will they? I'm sure the apes are aware of it. It's not like they are letting people die on purpose. <sighs> so what? The apes ate half the population? Is that what you're saying? They just want them dead? Power of over what? Life and death? So the apes are evil? Twirling mustache and burning buildings? <sighs> hey, hey, please. It's just... I'm sorry. I know this is important to you. I know I'm tense. I know I... The art comments a lot. I just I just had a very long day. Can we not talk about it now? I, I do, I understand that. i I just think you are taking it too far. You're obsessing over this, they are day in and day out. You can't end the discussion while insisting on including me in it, Rene. Really. I don't know what to say what to add. Uh. It's like uh. what I said back when you brought this up first time. I know it's hard to grasp, I know it's messy and unsatisfied, but the proof is there, Hene. What happened? Happened. That's that. That's that. I'm sorry, Hene. Not much we can do to prevent things like this. We can only choose, uh, choose how we react to them. Conflict comes and goes, like the weather. We can't control it. You and me got lucky with each other, but we worked to get where we are, and still going to be hard work. I care about you, about our life. Everything else is secondary. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. Just you know, I, I know we are. I still love you. We got this, okay? I'm sure we do. Here, I'll finish up here. Take care of things. You just go. You go rela rest, relax. You had a lot to think on lately. Thank you. We're gonna say thank you, of course. We're gonna appreciate for him to do that. We save light. Can we feed? <clears throat> you insist on discussing the case with Lucas. Okay, I like. I think that's a good thing, right? Because you want to talk about the case, you want him to help us, so. I think that was good. Okay, so we've L early August 21st about that thing in the container now. August 21st, still alive, might have to stop writing in here on daily base. Artifact aside, I'm starting to feel safe out here, then I do back home. Maybe the threads have faded over the decks, or maybe they had excess exaggerate out of an abundance of caution. Either way, I'm not afraid anymore. Just suspicious. It's been a busy week, lots of good setup to prepare for testing. Everything seems to be running fine, but it's doing a number on our power grid. I'm exhausted, George exhausted too. At the very least, it's done. And we already made a sketch for the next testing. We only need an extra cube for a few days, I'll bet. Short size HQ rarely interests this kind of top shelf equipment to guys at all pretty great. I have to wonder why. Despite the Arch Cotain HQ found out about the artifact. What? Keeping quiet about that might seem like a good idea. It will have given us a chance to study this thing without outside interference. But after a few days of discovery they came out and started asking all sorts of questions about our recent activities. And the whole thing fell apart. Hard to keep secrets from science seed, at least in the long run. 
HQ still refused to tell us how to proceed, it's been almost a week and await for the instructions is all they'll give us. We are decided to push forward with or without their blessing. George cares about the procedure of our work itself, not how filthy. That's why he's been in this job for decades and also why he hasn't moved past it. He's too focused on details and missed the bigger picture. George was fairly willing to accept it and once I pointed out, he knows that if anything happens they will blame us for freeing that fight, so why not learn as much as we can in the meantime? I also can't seem to shake the sense of purpose I've felt since I laid eyes on this thing. I need to know more. It's almost like there's a connection between us. Like, it's already a part of me. In our first phase of experience, George and I will be testing that fact to see how it reacts to other elements. Given its unpredictable nature, George and I will be taking every possible precaution at our disposal. What I really hope to figure out is how the artifact has managed to remain disanimated after having been destroyed for decades, maybe centuries, seemingly without sustenance. My current theory is that the artifact Given that fresh product nature, George and I will be taking every possible precaution to at our disposal as we move forward. That's all. Uh, close. I'm gonna close the journal. I think that's the best thing to do. We shouldn't let it open, let's be honest. Oh. Here, take this. A sample, a small one, but the sample still managed to cool. <coughs> Cool, cool it down a little bit, wriggle little bastard. Take the edge of <coughs> takes the edge off Tal, doesn't it? Go on, you call it Bobby. Ah. Well everything's set up, time to begin testing. What can I say? You made a strong case for it and you expect to keep it at up. What should we focus on? We well, already start determining the chemical structure of this thing, but it's left me with some strange questions. Well, the structure of this is bizarre to say the least. I never seen some of these compounds before and rarely in this configuration. It's a jumble of chemicals and absolute mess, but it somehow still functions. Yeah, I mean, we are just a mishmash of chemicals, man, but we all still somehow function, some more than others. Just very briefly, it adapts to outside force very quickly and almost molds itself to fit into whatever its current environment is. Mm. My working hypothesis is that this thing is constructed out of a tissue similar to muscles, albeit a lot more fluid, and its resting state appears to be wet, relaxed, and in a most, mostly liquid form. I don't think it will be best to see if you see for yourself. Try to change one of its properties in the view. Let's see if you can make it wet, relaxed, and solid. Leave the rest as it is. Uh, at the end of the day, this is what we are here for, right? I'll happily take an opportunity to show up to science its knobs anytime, no offense. Let me know how it goes. I'll be right here if you need me. Thanks, George. This the humidifier and corrosion chamber should be good for humidifier or drying out sample. In the testing tube. Here. Oh. Humidity.
And now it says data and solid. It's our chemical, not too familiar, but it should agitate Sampa at the very least. Okay. Make it relax and something. Is there more that we can work for? Cooling spray. Okay, it's already in a relaxed state. Agitated and liquid. Agitated. Okay. Like this gets relaxed. Sulfides. Set it to its original state, wet, relaxed, and liquid. What happened to the frames now? The frames are losing a cell, what the hell? That was weird. Uh, how the hell I can make it to be over there?
Yeah, because there's nothing that makes you... Uh, temperature? Uh, There we go. But for some other reason, the frames went to shit. Probably because I was so fast. What do you think the boys in science are up to right now? Never mind that. It looks like we managed to sort it out. Strange, isn't it? <laughs> That's why you had to see it yourself first. Don't I don't remember doing th being this confused and excited about something in a long time. Well, with that out of the way, I'll need you to start testing out some of my pods. If I recall correctly where it was, we need to do this, thus we are doing it. It's simple. Hmm. This thing survived as long as it did, I presume due to being in such a relaxed and fluid state. Even nature of some sort, I'll wager. Sewing down any and all gestation to conserve energy, that's the logical conclusion, at least from a biological standpoint. Which is precisely why I want to test for it. We need to push this thing to its layer. So how far it's well willing to adapt within reason. Under ordinary circumstances, I'll be a little bit more wary. But this, to me, seems like a crucial step in determining exactly what we are dealing here with here. Exactly, I need to dry agitate and saw. Get to it, Ellie. Agitated. liquid Try this one. There we go. You know, it's nice working outside the lab, even without all the comments of say this feels more real. Anyway, it looks like you got it. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to see, I suppose, but now that I see it, I don't really know what to make of it. You don't say, I'll be remarkable observing the thing, remarkable and well, unsettling. Ah. Well, it ate something, or not quite. I placed a corn puff next to it. And sample began to spread it all over its surface, seeped into whatever cracks there were in the surface, and then it just stayed there. 
They almost lay, yes, I just slash, it just slashed onto the rest, it didn't even begin to break down the rest of the piece I gave it. Once I pulled it out, it was dry as before, like someone had just leaked it. You tell me. Quite right, I got a few things in mind to try to discern whether or not this thing is sentient or not. I for one would like to focus on this particular scientific breakthrough of time before we go digging for more. Come on, let's try something. We are close. It, it's being dry and so it makes sense, but the way it handled the piece of food, try to make it dry, agitated and liquid. Liquid. You're going to do something with Sam or are just going to stand there? Anyway, I see you made progress. Anything out of the arena this time? I see what you mean. For it to adapt this rea readily, well, it certainly looks like our parts was correct. Uh. Today was your initiative, so yeah, I'll say so. Don't let it get to your head. Think that's the hell yeah, I know. Be sure, yeah. But sure, yeah, we are right. Not really sure I'm in the mood for celebrating Carlos. Right, right. Well, as it stands, we got the living thing on our hands. Some type of potential sapient organism that was buried underground for Shepard. Who knows how long? We both know we are not the only expedition in seeds sent out, but we are the only ones here. Sounds like they are on their side. Maybe those expeditions cover the same thing? Certainly didn't trap itself in there, so, so someone or something placed it in the container and sealed it away. Mm -hmm. Shit man, without getting to feel ask what's our purpose, eat, sleep, die? Seems like our friend here skipped it out on the last step though. Mm -hmm. I don't know, all I know is that the two of us are stuck out here in the desert along with a pot of creepy black wool that was locked away 5 meters on the ground in the bunker. And we just found out it's alive. And it eats things. I think we should take precautions, that's what I think. Sure, hit me. We can't keep these ice walks in the dig side camp, we need a team equipped, but no. Uh. You sure about that? Clearly, this thing is dangerous. You're not just making a compromise of out of pride. And we get to stay out here and do a possible noble self-sacrifice in the name of science. Shit, alright, I'm done. Uh. We, we, I'm not sure, I'll lie. Not sure that they'll buy. Look, man, this has been a day and a half. You mind marking down our progress and conclusion to the research lecture? I, I think I need to clear my head. But I don't know why it happened, this like losing these frames. I think it was because I was so fast in there that it fucked up. Hope it fix. Okay, you and George agreed that artifacts should be contained in a secluded location and studied by a small team of experts in order to minimize the risks. I think that's the best thing. You need to study. Okay, back to Clarissa. H24. Hmm. Oh, I still didn't fix. Fuck. 
We are here. We have to do a bit of work down the path there over the dam. Um. Doesn't make this whole area any less inhospitable. Listen, Calista, stay by the car, won't you? I'll be back in a second. It's just routine, it won't be interesting. It won't take long, and so it won't be pretty. <sighs> there are more savory parts of the business you could take part of, Clarissa. You are not feel nice as it is, Clarissa. If you find you were here with me, But it's better if it does, and for both of us, Clarissa, that's why I'm asking you to stay here. Let's not take any risks. Nah. I don't like, but I know that look in your eye. Arguing with you is now it's useless. Just don't touch anything. I will if I have to, and that will mm. my choice, Uncle. Just don't make any rash decisions, Clarissa. Don't pass judgment too quickly for my sake. I suppose so. One last time, guys. Are you certain you don't want to stay here? Yeah, but this is a little bit fucked up like that. You cannot go for my menu, I need to get out of the game and try to fix this shit. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully now it fixed it. I got out of the game and came back. Sometimes there are uh, games that do that. Like if you are too fast doing stuff, it fucks up and then it never recovers. Sometimes you can recover if you go to main menu. The problem is that this game doesn't go to main menu. You need to get out. So sometimes this happens in some games. You need to get out and uh, they could fix. Okay. Let's go, uncle. I don't need nobody to protect me. I'm gonna be the, the head of mm -hmm. the business. Yeah, it looks like it fixed it. Okay. So we usually refer to these things as well, clean up or a sweep. Of course, back in the day, we call it touch up. Changing terms is good, Tom. Little confused for old heads like mine, but you make do. That's about right, yes. Of course, same things always change. They get more difficult. Experience counts a lot for a lot nowadays. Uh, you know what this is, Surely you do. You are a clever girl. Uh, well, sometimes deals go sour or someone needs taken care of. There are rules and when those rules are broken well, they need to be enforced. No, 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 it's just, it's not just enforcement. Sometimes things get out of hand. Some things can't be explained away. The touch up is, well, making sure those mistakes remain or no to the public anyway. Mm. It is what it sounds like. Someone made a mess and we are here to clean it up. Something like that, yes. Not much, got a word from one of the other cops. Told me it was clear with your father. All I got was the location. Well, that's usually enough for me. Believe me, Clay, it's usually better not to know what happened. Yeah. Another cap, that's all it matters. Frankie. He's another cap, of course I do. Well, Why? Is there something you want uh, to say, Clarissa? You are getting play, you must see that. I've been doing this long time, if someone has up, I'll see it. Now come on, we still got some walking to do. You are being played, uh, uncle. You need to see that. We are telling you. A car? Let's try it, car, I mean. Tires. 
trash. No. We don't mind searching on the trash, talking about it. Oh, it's trash. Someone threw out the trash. Mm. You have never been out this far, have you? Once? Yeah, but uh. Mm. Mm, me and other capsules of this place for all sorts of things. Deals are with me and disposal. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Yes, back in the day it was mostly about territory other online selling disputes, business deals. There's always going to be arguments, earnings, caps, crew, happens to the best of us, usually it's resolved easily, but sometimes it takes a little bit more finesse, or oh well, finality. It means that sometimes we drive back to the seat which, with an empty seat in the car. Be more rides like that lately than I care to admit, didn't used to be like that. Mm. It's always the possible Clarissa. Keep, keeps you on your toes, keeps you smart. There's always someone bait, betting for your spot. Whether or not they succeed depends on you if you see them coming or not. Uh. I suppose so. This is about as long as your business gets. So I'm glad you are not. Well, I'm glad you got this. You got stomach. Just don't get used to it. Even I try not to. It used to be cleaner back in the day. It wasn't like this, there was a sense of honor to what we did, a sense of tradition of respect. Now it's profit. Um What do you mean? Clay, your father is a powerful man, you don't just tell powerful men what to do. Oh hey. You are an angry kid. I know you have different skills. You, you, we, you may not agree with everything he does, but he does what he can. Now oh, come on, let's get upstairs. We are an angry kid. <laughs> no, we want to make things correct. We want to be in the, the head of the business. Jesus, those stairs were long as hell. Some rope. Oh my god. What people will do with those. God damn, where are these people? Jesus. Ah. Told you, the anti you don't see real far from here. Almost there, might as well enjoy a moment of spite until then. This place isn't pretty. The VM helps you remember that it isn't all this bad. But that doesn't make your home any less real, does it? Doesn't make a warm meal or a soft bed any less comforting. Ah, uh, uh, well, even if you did, there isn't much out there, waste I'm told. Far as the eye can see, nothing. Not at all, plenty of trouble inside the wall as it is, plenty of beauty too, you just need to learn to see it. That's what you got start kid. It's got to be something big if everything else pales compared. And what about now? What do you want to what about what do you want in this moment? Not in a day or a week or a year, but now. Yeah. I've learned to set to be happy with, with my lot. It it makes life a lot easier, a lot more enjoyable. Uh, I see that, hmm. come on. Okay. Well, I don't want to be settled. I want the power. I will try to see if I can make Clarice at the end of the business. But who knows? Who knows if I can make it or not? Because I think it will depend on a lot of the choice. Jesus. Now we have to send these stairs off the other side. At this point, where the hell are we going? Uh, 
Below the pier, soaking in sea water and partial covered in cow. Has a cocoon of wax, concealed and coated, betrayed by tufts of fur and skin sticking out between the wrappings. A thin frail and hand sticks out on one side, on one hand two feet manga twist, and on the other you glimpse a young face. What the little you see on as I guess it over and still, the fish are delicate, pale, lifeless, and stink feminine. Disease or was a young girl. Even after uh, being su subject to the elements and tossed around, it's clear to see that the body was uh, being wrapped with little care, loose hands washed up against the rocks, make it clear that only a select few of the wrappings hold the body in place around shoulders, arms and waist. The color of the fur has faded, but the shape and contortion of the feet seems, even from the distance, unnatural and painful. Uh. It's she's... Just a kid, just a little girl. Hmm. We're going back to the car now. The car closes now. Seriously? I wonder if I should have said the other one. Fuck. If I should have said the last one. The dam is opening. She couldn't have been older than fifteen, sixteen. I could go back to uh, to the car, like uh, he said. The maybe Frank, you know. I wonder if I should have said this too much. I don't know. He probably will say to get back to the car eventually at some time. Shepard, I uh, it wasn't always like this. Uncle, just help me get the being the face of the organization, being the head, take down father. Just help me. Need to find a spot for her somewhere. The trash. Jesus, where is the car? God damn, was that fight away the car? Jesus. Stay by the car. You need my help, Uncle Faces. Clarice, stay by the car. Mm. I know it's hard, I know it's tough, it's always tough, but you are young, you are angry. It will pass. Mm. Hmm. And just what do you do to purpose to do while it's into your file office and ask nice? And kill the son of a bitch. He's not excited enough for taking advice, Clay. I'm frank, it's not from you. Um, I can't listen, kid. I've been doing this my whole life. I can just and uh, well, what you're asking me. We'll talk about this later, when you calm down. Don't forget we are here to do something. Stay by the car, I'll be right back. No. Mm. No, you're not. Stay here and cool off. I'll be right back. 
that doesn't matter, you don't need to do this right now, shit, I don't need this right now, and you have to cool down, adult discussion. I don't know what to, if you say like you will kill your father, it's like, Clemens is convinced that you'll be able to change. Like, I don't think that waltz to the office and kill the son of the bitch, like, I don't think that will be the best one, so, you know, calm down. Okay, third year. With Howard. It's cold. Oh, it's cold. I told you to rest. Why? I'm sorry, my with us, sir. And I did, and I'm still cold. Oh, uh, should I get you a blank to add my cap? <sighs> and what exactly are we doing before that? Uh, okay. Alright, for your final project, well, let's try to do this as fast as possible. I got a lead on a place on in Yelltown that could be perfect for us. I figured we could swing by on our way back. It's not all too remote if, if it is for both of us. I just want to help you finish but so you'll stop putting off your our hunt for an apartment. You need to settle on something fast before all good ones get taken. Dude, every time I try to show you a place, you find some lame excuse. Why it's not good enough? I mean, I want a nice place too, but we gotta find something. Then act like it, man. Look, I can see it's stressing you out and I don't want to get that in the way of your work. Why don't we just table this for now and deal with it after you have taken your shots? <laughs> so this final project of yours, where do we start? Right here, point the clock. Grandfather's team. Sure, that's it though. Just one snap and we're done. What do you have in mind? Uh. That's how the land. Where do you want to start? Let's start Grandfather's team, the clock. Yeah, in that case, it looks like we might have a problem. Did you get a good look at the clock yet? Where I think fell it off. By itself, no chance. Someone, something or someone must have her. Huh? You think? What a weird thing to steal. What now then? Time to do some detective work. I guess so. Ready to go? Uh. Sure, we figure out who stole the end, we get it back, and then we take the picture before, during, or after. We make sure to get some portraits taken. How many do you think you'll need? I know we need one for the clock, alright. Free portrait it is. Sounds good. Man covering snow. Need some help? Help with what? Dude, you are covering snow. Ah oh, yes, well that's just a necessary sacrifice I'm willing to make while testing out this little trio of mine. I'm trying to determine if it's possible for one restart a non-transactional relationship with geezers. Hmm. Well, you see, every day for the past few years I'm coming out here to feed the local geezers. I felt like we had established uh, a report, a trust. But the other day I forgot to bring my trusty seat back and they look at me like a common stranger. It's then that I realized that maybe I've just been a middleman, them all along, a bag bearer. Hmm. An interesting pot, and one not too far from my own. That's why I did the bag, you see, and I'm staying as still as physically possible. Well, I've seen plenty of kids establish bonds with inanimate objects when there's nothing for them to gain. Stash, bike racks, fire items. So I'm trying to discover if it's possible to develop a similar bond. I certainly don't expect to be writing any important papers on it, if that's what you are asking. It's interesting enough in its own right to think about geezers and their perception of the world, don't you think? Sitting here, motionless and observant, it's a pleasant enough deviation from my normal routine. I will retire, thank you very much, and I will wager you, since you are a top, you don't even have a job to retire from. Let me guess, you are a student? Mm. Your voice, your fault, you have to be married by the reality of life. I guess you are here for the purpose of assignment, either creative writing or photography. Ah, tell us, Hawker. I, I thought a few buildings down from yours, you see, the Chauncey Billingsley, a part of physics. I'm guessing Chauncey was an odd one himself, but he was long before even my time. I digress though. Is there something you, you need? Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, it's missing an, isn't it? A woman and a daughter. Well, confused it. I did hear this young mother whispering something to her child about the clock. Don't want to make a search, but they... huh? Well, it sounds risk that you laugh as well, in which case I would like to know a reason. The act, how do you mean boy? You picked my interest. In. Ha, never thought uh, of it like that before. I suppose that's why I never let you in the arts. <laughs> Very interesting, my boy. Shoot away. Take the picture. Hold on, think it will come all right. I didn't move, did I? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay. What call? Mm, hello there, young man. I see you are not wearing a mask. It's, it's winter solstice today. Don't you? Don't you know? By shepherds flame, young young people these days. Yes, yeah, the darkest day of the year in many a way. Hence the fire, hence the mass. Where do you live? Who is your priest? I'd like to have a word with him. Not much of a believer. Faith is the past time you can pick and choose. You know, it's a virtue. So you come to warm yourself by the fire? This is the flame of share, my boy. The start at the end of all time, all of all things. We are made by the fire and we die in the flame. This warmth is what sustains us, the love of the shepherd. You see, many seek out the comfort of the shepherd without wanting to devote themselves to him. They think it's comfort given to them. But no, it has to be earned. Uh, the clock. Alright, they said that he didn't saw anything. Hotel. Shop windows. Adrena. Dope threads. What? Uh, dope threats. You said that already. Dope. What else is having a pretty cool? Mm. Pretty cool? Well, shit. Now I'm going to have to get a new old wardrobe. Wait, are you messing with me? Yes, I'm messing with you. Kinda ruins it when you just go out and say it. So, what do you need? Uh, Yo. Down the street, down the street, back the way you came. They keep smearing their face onto the glass hey. window. Yeah. I knew you were a creep. Call it a second, you walk it. So what, you just pay someone to teach you how to use a car, what are you, to dump to read a fucking manual? Mm -hmm. Well, just you are honest, tell you what, you woke up us with some smokes, we'll take whatever creep photo you want, deal? You are a big boy, figure it out. The way that I came. Mm. A small shot, so this can fast an important part of our faith. Boy, if you are taking a picture, you need to ensure you come to the graffiti of the situation. Mm. I'll sharply observe of you, boy. Perhaps I did judge you too harshly. 
All right, you copy me. Take a picture. There we go. Get the picture. All done. I confess, I'm not too familiar with the art of photography. Hmm. Very well, I'll come by the church up the road when you have to vlog. I should like to see. Alright. It said only to take three. And then save one for the... For the clock. Oh, yeah. It's going shit, it's going shit, at least I don't have any field work like this, I'm all the way through, I'll say. Yep, that's about it, don't think I'll remember. <laughs> Didn't think they will either. Then again, I wouldn't be surprised if it just appears after I end it. It's not like I'm going to get poached anywhere, they'll just keep my diploma send me off and then destroy every copy of this they have, or just hide it uh, uh, away somewhere. <laughs> so, something like that, right? Get your back. I thought you could have, like, you know, some cigarettes. These ones? Uh, are they talking about? What? Oh yeah, please don't pout. Maybe mama will be able to buy you a toy next to is art one after next. Now let's head home, it's a long way back to the west end. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me, are you eavesdropping on us? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, was my little Leon disrupting your otherwise perfect day? It must be such a burden to have an ultra strong mother who can't afford to buy a simple toy for a baby girl. Oh, I suppose you think my daughter and I shouldn't even step a foot outside our little hovel in the West End? Can't have us poor upsetting gas down gantry with our tattered rags, can we? You think words are going to make up for this? Words are cheap, words are nothing. If you really want us to make it up, go in there and get my daughter a nice proper toy. And don't forget the receipt. A student? I suppose I should have guessed from the clothes. I don't see how you call unless you want to hand over that camera. Oh, you think you just... Oh, you think just because you are poor we don't know how to use a camera? Leon asked us to be very smart. To be smart, very smart. She'll probably take better pictures than you call. Give it to her and see. Mm. Mm, never mind, just leave us alone if you are not going to help. That rig's clock, what about it? <laughs> Everyone, well, I don't know what to say. It must have been someone impersonating us. Maybe someone want to make us look bad. Drive us out of neighborhood. Yeah, that's it. It's a conspiracy. An elitist conspiracy. <laughs> bah, fine, I nabbed it. It's, it's got gold plating, and even the fake stuff can fetch a fair price if you go to the right place. I never figured these custom goals will have to snitch. Where's the compassion? It's a time of effect, I can't believe this, how someone you always decides to spend their free time, it's pathetic. What? Whatever, I hope this makes you feel like a big man, you little snoop. It does. Fuck you, lady. Sure, they have a little talk. Cause observation reveals what appears to be some notion of gerontic rule. The eldest of the keys is a large grey one, appears to be treated with more respect than the others. All keys are equal, it seems, but some more than others. <coughs> on, on, on.
you got keys to push. It gives a song can shovel away as you pocket the party, but probably party pussy. They make a point to ignore you as long as possible. Hmm. You really do. You think uh, you ever think about being attacked or something? Probably pay better than art stuff. Ah. So who the hell sells the? The smokes. No vandals, hunting no vandals in boogie neighborhoods. Yeah, that sounds real cool, Narc. So, who was it? Well, I hope you let her have it. I hope you sent her to the college. I hope her kid grows up an orphan for that crazy stunt she pulled. I won't go that far. Are you kidding? I mean, she forces rich people who live here, around here to actually look down at their watch instead of getting it from some helix steam thing. That's kind of shit we really need to, to crack down on. You did the shepherd's work today in ARC, you really did. <laughs> you didn't just fix the clock now, you fixed the world. I wonder how the hell you could get the thing. Can I give to this guy? Mm -hmm. I do, but it's still tight, so it's not an inferior fit. Hmm. Okay, bird seat. Now I can go for the geezers and give the bird seat. And probably they will follow me? I wonder. Later, geezers. So, okay, now I have, like this, I have free. I cannot take another picture, like it say, like take free and then save one for the clock. But can I talk to uh, to that guy if, uh, with snow? Okay. 
Oh, you need to close, what the fuck? Uh, that is all fixed up. All ready to tell the time. We did, man. What are we going to spend the evening on? Pfft. We spend every evening together, man. Usually, anyway. You going to take a picture of that clock or what? <laughs> There we go, a big one. Well, what do you think? Was it worth? <laughs> you, it better be. We worked out too hard on this, on it to not be. You sure you got a good one? Perfect. So did you take all the shots you want? Are we done? Oh, oh shit, really? I guess we are done then. I mean, to be fair, it's just kind of float around. Try not to get cold. You did the FT lifting. Nah. What a sad way to live. Scamming people into thinking you are worse off than you actually are. Her kid can't, though. If that even is her kid. But enough about that. Let's get back to the dorm. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? I think I want to get more serious about dating. Universe over. Yeah, about time too. You have been fumbling in dark for like years now. Uh huh. Oh right, get this serious about that in that kind of way. I get it. Uh, did you like have someone in mind? Uh huh. I mean, whoever it is, will or will be, I'll be happy for you. You should do what you meant to, to do. But is that all? Is there something you are getting? What? By which means? By which you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll listen. I know what you are trying to say, and it's fine. Yeah, if you find someone else who wants to live with, that's fine. Great, even. I'm not going to stand in your way. Why should I? So, plan change. It's fine. It will be fine. If we don't live together, we can be neighbors. We don't have to be roommates to hang out daily, man. <sighs> oh, I know that, man. I just... I wish it didn't have to get so serious. I don't... I feel like I'm not quite ready for all that. I could do with like three more years of university, I guess. Eh. Either way, don't worry about it. We'll do it one day at a time, I guess. I'll come over and beat you up and you can come over to my place and I'll beat you up there. Don't worry, everything's going to be fine. Whatever happens, I'll be around for you, and you'll be around for me, right? Uh. Then uh, let's not worry about what will and what won't happen, right? Nothing's going to break us apart, okay? That's it, that's right. Feel any better? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. I'm not worried. Wasn't worried in the first place, and I'm not worried now. Fucking right, though. Fucking right. Anyway, I hope that makes you a little less concerned. <sighs> cool. We'll be fine. Now, can we get off the street? I swear, it's getting cold and dark by the minute. Yeah, I do. Now move on. Check ass. I'm freezing. <clears> okay. <throat> so, which one? The people of Castle were perfect sources for your final project photos. So now it's going to be who? Eli? No, Gene. Then it's Eli. I forgot that's Clarissa, our Gene, Eli. Enjoy, enjoy it while it lasts, Gene. The calm before the storm. You have been using it as a crutch for far too long. Anytime an art got rejected or you got passed over for a big story, you will seem soft and blow. No big, Lucas has discovered. You allow it to dampen your fire and your right. No, it's yours. You have always done play your ambition in front of Lucas. You used it to tell yourself it was to put him at ease. But really, it's because that's the only way that this relation works. At least not for long. Pretty soon the soldier will turn on you, or the season turns on soul. Usually both. Yes, but have you been 
Lucas is pretty much a pariah on at the station now. And that's after your editor made all those cuts. Can you imagine how much worse things will be had you got in your way? Not locally, no, but his demeanor toward you has absolutely changed. Less warm, more guarded, like you can sense something's up, about to happen. No, unlike him, you don't need to sense it. You just need to do it. Feed the lizard. Lizard. I don't think I feed him uh, for a while. <sighs> you doing okay? No, not real. Yeah, that's dead figures. Anything I can do? Okay, sure. Now, now? Yeah, now. Did you eat yet? I picked up a beat wrap from the gas station on the way home. Not really, no. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if you were going to make food today. You were pretty short on the phone. Then I guess a shitty beat rap was the right decision for us. Uh, uh, oh, you know, nothing like being put back in the exciting world of traffic. Yeah, so you want to talk about something? I, me, shit, Rene, you are the one who wanted to talk, don't put this on me, we have our ups and downs, sure, but I'm not I'm not at the serious talk stage, I don't think I am. Uh -huh. Well, we are going through a rough patch, I'm tired, you are tired, it's just how it's been lately. I can work with that, sure, let's figure it out then, what's your problem? You worry we won't get the over this bump? Ooh. Just how how long have you felt this way? Yeah, I figured. You can't let it consume you like that. Just let it go, Rene. You know it gets to me too. I know it is, but you know, what about me? I mean, it's not like I can I go on about all the problems that I've at work, problems that I've tripled since the, that article came out. Uh, yeah. That's not what I was doing at all, Rene. Listen, can we backtrack a bit? This is a lot to take in all at once. There's just, I still don't understand some things. I don't see why this is happening. Why do you want to just end things like this? Uh, all right. I just I ask you to be patient, okay? I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to keep up. Right, so I guess it feels strange to have it come on this early. We have been together for years, Rene. Do we just throw that away for a few months of change? And that problem is what exactly? We are trying to write we are trying to write now, aren't we? Okay. What about your parents? Do they know about this? Imagine how they will take it. But after the divorce, I'm sorry, Rene, but you don't keep in touch with both parties after something like that. They will have to choose, and they will choose me. Uh, Rene, I, uh, is it really that bad? I, it can't be that bad, can it? Does it really hurt, like physically? Lucas understands you a little better now. Uh, I see. Shit, shit, Rene. There must be something I can do. Has to be. How about we sleep on it? Look, I know we'll be decent. That's, yeah, that's on me. Lots of work, lots of exhaustion. Maybe all we need to do is just, I don't know, kindle the spark we on, on side. <gasps> Well, no, and yes, maybe that's what we need right now. Doesn't that make at least a little bit of a sense? Mm. 
maybe what we need. All right, add to us. <sighs> Lucas still think that's so for two of you. I right, listen. I see where you're coming from. I just I don't think it needs to be as final as you are making it. Well, you know, there's costly for this uh, for this sort of thing therapy. Please, Rene, consider it. Never. I don't know how to feel. I don't know what there is to let out. If you say so. Only because of the article. You gave Lucas the comfort you want, consoling him after your breakup. I wonder if there's a way not to break up? Probably the other one is not to break up, I wonder. Okay, I lie. But it's only because of that, only because of the the article. It's like, oh damn. <sighs> What's going to happen uh, in, with this two? <sighs> Radio says we are on their, says they are on their way. It should be less than 12 hours. Who is they? No idea, but if they are going to be bringing something back from the outside the wall, it's probably someone at the top or above it. I suppose. Nah. Do you do you follow the scripture, Ally? I can appreciate that growing up in the West End, it's always comfort to believe that no matter how bad things will get, the shepherd was watching over us. I'm beginning to think that might not be the case anymore. Are you familiar with the story of the sighted skeptic? Sorry, it's just, it's just a story that's been on my mind ever since we passed the wall. I think it's particularly relevant to the predicament we find ourselves in. Okay, I'm not gonna read all of that. Years ago, long ago, the creation. Okay. Because he's the shepherd. Yes. Once they reach the city, the shepherd promised to guide them towards the ocean where their sight will be restored by the healing waters of the Great Blue. One year, a follower named Mika was so afraid of losing sight event, even temporarily that he covered his eyes with bandage in advance to protect them from the sun's ray. Smart man. Once the fox sent from the highest point of the mount, Mika began to remove his bandage, found to see Mika became actually aware of all dangers that surround them. He started screaming words of warnings to his fellow travelers, causing them to doubt the shepherd's calm directive, linked some of them in steps and tumbled down the mountain towards their deaths. This chaos, uh, ca this chaos caused the Mika warnings to become even louder, even more hysterical, even more followers began to lose their footing and began to fall. Desperate to stop this carnage, the shepherd marched towards Mika and struck him with his staff until he felt unconscious. With Mika's silence, the followers were soon able to continue along the path, following the shepherd's calm and trusted voice towards the city where their sights were soon restored and the rest of their days were spent in health and prosperity. It's believed that Mika remains at the top of that mountain to this very day, where he skims into the void to paralyze by fear to move forward. Not you, us. The minute we went outside the wall, we become a threat to the rest of the flock because of what we have seen. How many people can you name who have turned to sit after leaving? And why? Why do you suppose that is? Why has no one else come, ever came back from beyond the wall? Oh. Really? Where's the danger? The only real answer we've gone so far is the artifact. And we are 
to work very hard to fucking hard to find that. Outside of that, everything's been fine, peaceful, even. I honestly feel safer here than I did back in the city. Which begs the question, why hasn't anyone ever come back from the place? And what fake their deaths, if that's true, where they are they? No, there's something deeper going on here. I, I think I think they are not being allowed to come back because of what they know. And what we know. Hmm. That's this just a theory, but here's what I'm thinking. Back in the city we are panned in Cornwall. Is it control? The apes own all the land, so we have to do whatever they just they want just to borrow a silver for our famous sleeping. Scarcity is key, ally. If the people knew there was a world outside the city, a safe, dusty, perfectly normal world with space enough for all of us, the entire city would collapse. Uh. Why send someone out then? If our work is done and if the wastes are so treacherous, why break protocol and put another life at risk instead of us? It's instead of just telling us to pack our great gear and head back. Then why haven't told us that? Let me ask you something, Eli. Why do you suppose you were assigned to this assigned to this detail? I know one to ask questions. You need to stop deluding yourself, Eli. No team has ever come back from the behind wall. We are on a suicide mission. For an outside like me, this was always going to be the retirement plan. That's just how science city works. But you are still young, connected. You must have upset some real powerful people to get assigned a detail like this. So what happened? <laughs> Shepard staff, you are the reason they pulled the funding of Ligotti. I heard that instead of curing depression, just cause so many so much abominable pain, test sources will beg for the dogs to save their lives and they figured they could mark it as a starting the will to live. Well shit, Eli, here I was thinking you were some stuck up fail some and it turns out you were a hero this whole time. Well, either way, it proves my theory. We are both beyond expandable in the eyes of HQ. And also I'm surprised they didn't kill you already. No, I think you can say about HQ. I got all the line, not glamorous as rich as yours, but we with my time coming up, and I suppose the number crunchers realize a detail like this will save them on pension. Won't be the first and definitely not the last. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we got twelve hours left together. How do you want to spend it? Yeah, I was hoping you'll say that. So what's the plan? Let's convince them we killed it. Mm. Yeah, that might work. Then they will need us to come back with them to call, uh, keep it under control. Could buy us some time and maybe a bit of cloth. We'll have to convince him to. Alright, now they'll probably go through the entire site to make sure we are telling the truth, so you'll need to make sure everything on site sells the idea. Mm What falls are your thoughts on HQ? Okay, we can leave that one. Right, we can leave that one, it's not that bad. Agitated. Ok, 
Okay. I think that's everything. I guess that should be everything. You say to play it safe, storing any documentation or evidence after you are searching into the artifact. This one has a lot of pubs in there. Okay, Clarissa, age 27. Three years passed because the other one was 24. <laughs> I told you time and time again to stay out of my business and yet you are here whining. That's you in a fucking nutshell, isn't it? Telling people how you see things, telling people they are ignorant, stupid. For someone who wasn't the cold shit, you sure think, think ugly of yourself. <sighs> That's just the way things are, it's not my fault, you are scared of the real world, you sit in the fucking tower in your entire life, and now you develop a cautious, go the fuck up, Clarissa. <sighs> That does it. Didn't say I didn't warn you, Clarice. How many times do I need to teach you the same uh, lesson? Your whole life, you have been a thorn in my side. And you say I need to listen? Get over here now! You have no idea what I'm capable of, but you are about to find out, you little shit. <laughs> hey, that's all you got? You really think you can uh, take me down, you brat? Where am I? Don't even know who I am. Uh, just you wait, I'll show you. What, you think you are tough? Think you are a real gangster, huh? <clears throat> That's what I thought. It's settling it. Isn't it? One strike isn't enough, and you don't have so much for another. Weak, just like your mother. Fuck, that's all you got? You even hit like your mother, mark my words, guys. It's going to end the same way for both of you, too. You are to lose your little shit, watch me. Soon as I get up, you are done for. Earth is too good for a war for what I'm going to do. <coughs> your wounds are hacking, fuck. Who put you up to this? It's fucking Clemens, isn't it? Spineless fucking coward didn't even have the backbone to do himself, did he? That's who you are listening to. That's cool shit. You didn't get this far on your own. You're not clever enough. He's helping you, isn't he? Playing like you're a fool. <coughs> That's not what you call yourselves? Cool? Ha! <laughs> Do good girls kill their fathers too? Cool man betray their brothers? Face it, Clemens. You and me are... You and my idiot brother are no different. At least I stand for my conviction. You two just fucking like yourselves. Pathetic. Ah, yeah, that's right. True fucking hurts, don't it? Think you're clever, huh? Still, it's nothing compared to what I'll do to you. That's a promise. <coughs> the pain of them is getting worse. So what was the plan? Uh, you were just going to walk in here and kill me? No, nothing. Just murder your own final cold blood? Sure, you did. You knew what you were walking into. Almost got me even. Shit, cause how useless you always were. I think this is the most proud of you I ever been. <coughs> you are finally figured it out, aren't you? My way works. This is how you get results. But you still telling yourself you are different. Or justify. Guess what, Clays? I do too. Sure, sure. Whatever you say. You'll come around eventually. I knew it will happen. I saw that streak in you, even as a kid. Your girlfriend did too. <coughs> yeah. 
you don't remember much. Do you? you really think things were all that different before I took over? You think we just asked politely and help old ladies across the street? Give me a break, Clarissa. Nothing changed. We all the same, and you are too. I can help you see that. You don't have the experience, neither those clamors. You need me. <coughs> Come on, Clarissa. You can give your old man a shot. I promise I won't let you down. I'm still. I'm st I still care. No, not not yet. We can still figure this out, I swear. <coughs> I I understand now. I see what you're saying. I can change. I can help you change all of this. Boom! Take a deep breath and walk away. Just get out of there. He was trying to manipulate us. Fuck you. You had your shot. Ooh. That's why they call the curtain. So are we in control? Clements? Is that you, Clements? Mm. Clay, so what happened in there? This, this isn't what I thought you meant when you say you were going to talk to him. Mm. Easier? He's my brother. He was what he was, but he's still my brother. I, it should never be easy. Mm. No, we'll take care of the body. I suppose I do, but I shocked he, he's your he was your father. <laughs> no, Clarissa, no, you didn't. Is there anything else you'll need? They know by now. Anyone who matters knows. Your reputation precedes you. No, they know you were a firecracker since you were a kid, Clarissa. Some of them, I'm sure, were even expect this to happen. Don't go too hard on them, some are expecting to be softer than Carl, and if they are in for a rude awakening, there is no telling how they will respond. Well, I've been thinking about all this, with Carl gone well, I find myself in a pe peculiar situation. Our business, this family, it takes a certain kind of person to run it. I never doubt that you had it in, e in you to do it. I'm surprised that you thought you'll just talk to him. I never expected something else, I think. Yes, like that. If you have, uh, yes, like that. I'll be frank, guys. I would like to retire. Do you mean that? Thank you, guys. I'll do my utmost to make my life as anonymous as for you as possible. No, things are changing. I've changed and I can't keep up. You will change too in ways that will surprise us both. Give it time, for now. I'll leave you with your thoughts. There's still the question of the body. I handle it. Oh, I suppose there's one other thing, Clarissa. You made it. You won. I believe, I believe congrats are in order. I very well. Can I ask why not? And you got it. If, some, if nothing else, you have the power to make change, don't you? I don't think I understand. I promised myself I'll beat him. I did, and yet it don't, I don't feel different. Clarice, if I may, the most terrifying thing about having aspiration dreams is that they one day might come true. Whatever problems we had until that point is suddenly gone. Don't look for victory, look for life, look for something endless. 
Cool. It gets easy, guys. Good night. Well, at least I got to be the power to to be the head of the family now. You know, like to take control of the business. That's what I was looking for to Clarissa, but like could have been different. Okay, let's see. Clarissa wasted no time assuming control of the Blood War family. Thanks to the preparation made by her uncle, the transition of power was swift. A small number of descendants were quickly taken care of. Under her rule, the Blood War family became the single most powerful syndicate uh, in the city. Clemens left the family retiring with his wife. He spends his days tending to the gardens in their backyard. Every few months, the police will come around asking to talk. Every time, he politely declined it. For Clarissa, it soon became clear that control of the Bulwark family wasn't enough. The city was right there, ready to be conquered. However, fighting the great apes head-on was a surefire way of getting shut down. An alliance based on deceit and blackmail was her only path forward. After all, she thought they will know who they are dealing with soon enough. So there we go. A, a cool, a cool uh, ending for her. Cool ending. The final day of university. For Howard now. I like that ending for uh, for Clarissa. It was what I wanted to make her. <sighs> mm -hmm. Man, the place already looks so empty. Like man. Yeah, you know, I remember this one loser carrying a big box of old clothes and junk who ended up buying me lunch. I remember it's crazy how, the, how it works. It's like I said, man, I'm the branch, you are the brown. Kind of. The later is arguable. I'm the charmer. <laughs> yeah, quality doesn't trump quality in the flirting game, though. You are about as smooth as the normal way. Exactly. You, yeah, and then I will charm. Just look at this guy. Alt charisma of a dressed up wet rack. <laughs> I'm back, not sure about you. Right, so mostly done. Clothes are all packed up, plates and frogs and all of that stuff. Not much, honestly. I stuck some of your books off to the side, not that there were many of them. There's also the record player and your photography stuff in the dark room. <laughs> why, yes, Howard. It certainly does sound like that, Howard. I wonder why that is Howard. Such as. Uh, All right, yeah, yeah, I suppose that's pretty important. Well, uh, we should get started. Got to be out here by noon. Me? Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, all good. Let's get packing up the last things. Sure thing. Sure thing, my man. I got everything else. All of this joke, nah. I put all in this box and you are going to help me take it out. You don't even know what's in here. Honestly, man, if you want it, it's probably actual charge. Hey there, are we your two biggest competitors for the, the title of PFF, Pink? And her trusty sidekick, Teen. Right, better just twice then. Who gets to lay claim to these two beauties? Seriously, you smoke like way less than me and can barely handle it when you do. Oh, for the win. I knew you'll come through for me, but seriously, if you have a new place, I'm always more than happy to share. Uh, that time you unfair tried to prank me to believe in Tony Rostra, but tossed this to you at the trick score, so lame. Alright, if this belonged to yours, why didn't you keep it for yourself? yourselves? Why you giving it to me? Okay, but like, isn't it more like that you two were pissed that I forgot about the concert and decided to make a fool of me? Okay, but now you are admitting, which makes me think you actually been telling the truth. No. I'm done thinking about this. Let's figure out who's gonna take this and be done with. See, now I know it's fake. If this was worth something, you'll be so easy to give to them. 
Really? Uh, all right, actually, you know what? I'll take them. I mean, that's sorry, a little far-fetched, but I guess it's possible. Shit, you weren't playing me after all, were you? Thanks, Uldana. Even if they weren't from the cost, it's nice you are fair. Put all that thought into it, even if it was to mess with me. Well, our first week in the dark, look at what a dark you were. You look exactly the same. Now we do, but that's my fault. I thought you were... I taught you how to dress, what music to listen to, how to flirt. You were so helpless with that one. Do you ever wonder who you'll be for assigning someone else? Yeah, it's kind of mindfuck, right? Like, what kind of dark would you have turned out to be if you and Whiskers share a room? Or how fucking cool would be, will he be right now if you end up, wound up with me? Ah, uh, too bad I wasn't able to make much uh, a dent on your sense of humor while we were together. Alright, we should get it. Yeah, alright, you better take good care of it, though. That's an important piece of history. My man, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh yeah, I remember. Of course you don't, you were so wasted. We yanked this off the statue uh, down in the town, not ringing any bells? You saw his name and thought it would be the funniest thing in the world, which kind of was. At least at the time, poor Gary would. So we should get this. You can have it. Yeah, it's already losing again the frames. Fuck. One of my favorites. Maybe it's just me, but the older I get, the better smooth Nikki sounds. You want to take this one? No worries, man. I think there's a uh, remaster coming out, and this will give me the excuse I need to shell out for a total win. Uh huh. Nah, man, it's all done. Everything we had, it's yours or mine now. I'm such a mighty mood today. Everything feels so final, like it's over now. The end of an era. Yeah, bad takes next people moving here are going to be way lamer than we were. Yeah. Anyway, I'm stuck to be out of the air. You are just trying to cope with it. You'll miss everyone as much. Yeah, I spoke to a few of them today. One kind of cleared out while you were getting the keys of your new place. Yeah. Sure, she and Liv just left just a few minutes ago. She asked about you. Saturday night, big show, bring Alwi and come along. She and Liv were bringing some others too. Oh, and she said it will be ki your kind of music. <laughs> it's mm. at Foxy Burger, man. What do you think? Smooth Nicky, man. Said there's a chance they'll play some material from the new album. Yeah, fuck yeah. We are meeting at 8 pm on South Grand Field. I'm really happy. Uh. Anyway, they all got out pretty early. Like I said, we are the only ones left, and we have to be out within an hour or two. At least having his pack and ready to go. Same. These last few years here, you and me in this dorm, everyone else. I feel like uh, this was us uh, speaking. How could it get better now? Uh. I don't know. I don't think it was bad, that bad. All of us together figuring shit out in this town. We all had each other, and now we are d leaving. Guess that's what I'm worried about. We will all be friends if we hadn't been shoved into this dorm together. People like Niles will never want to hang with me outside of the dorm. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you know what I mean. You are going to be somewhere else with someone else. Sort of sharing off a lot, sharing a life. You know, doing what we did the last few years. You're going from one normal to another. I'm going to do no. Uh -huh. Skull and Dina aren't excited to expect me to stay there forever, man. They are chill, but I'm not moving in. They just know I need a place to stay for a while, for a, a little bit. Uh. Well, yeah, but it's not as I'm going to force them to let me stay either. I don't, I do want my own place, Howie. I don't want to crash on culture the next 10 years of my life. Uh. Yeah, maybe, well, uh, not be dramatic or anything, but is this it? Time to get going? Yeah, guess so, I mean. I figure I'll see you later or something. I got your number. All I've got to do is find a phone. Yeah, yeah, I guess I do know where you live. I'll come around when I can. Or when Skull and Dina throw me out. Yeah. 
Well, don't say that to your new one. Besides, we will hang out in the morning. It's starting tomorrow, man. There are shows to see, mischiefs to get up to. You know, time to travel. Eh. Yeah. Cool, alright. Well, uh, this is it then. You got everything? Cool, cool, okay. I'll see you around. I'll miss you too. Yeah, I know you will. It's whatever. We'll hang out tomorrow anyway. Nothing changed. Yeah, but again, it's like loose frames after a while. The game. Very weird. After a while, the game starts losing uh, frames. Very, very weird why all this happens. gonna go to an house if uh, we're gonna have a roommate in there but uh, uh, that guy Larry will be with uh, Scully and Dina like uh, the couch or something like that leave the university so let's see hours in apartment never felt like home it last three months before you move to on to the next one after nine months and three other parts moving seemed to be matter less and less eventually howard started renting an office two months later he moved in it larry tried his hand at gambling it went as expected he stayed with friends sleep on couch until he ran out of both a smoke and a bottle kept him warm not wanting howard to see struggles the two old friends fell out of touch Work was scarce, as Howard took what he could get, taking pictures became surveillance, surveillance turned into investigation. It was a natural fit, puzzles piece fit together, a real to solve, a very welcome distraction. Start sorting out everyone else probably was a lot more attractive than dealing with his own. So basically Larry went start a smoke and you know, he was a homeless, he became a homeless, unfortunately. And he, he never entered more co in contact with uh, Aoi. Yeah, the lizard. My cups. A bluish blank piece of paper is neatly pressed against the roll, waiting for you to turn into a, a page. Then why does it feel so bittersweet? It's not bad, it's just new. What makes you say that? The kids sit cold to the towels, waiting with sound anticipation. You know, maybe it could have gone different, it worse, certainly better, possibly. Especially if he didn't want to. It wasn't like you could contain it. When you felt that change coming on, you you had to accept it, slowly but surely. It's understandable that you had to share that with him. But he didn't, and here you are. Stronger than ever. Even when you left out, you made sure you was alright. You were there for him from start to finish. And what do you think now? Either way, Lucas is gone now. You are on your own, and even after all this, you look back on it thinking... I'm sorry. Very well. On the other side, there's still the matter on the empty page. Go on. So basically, she starts basically a new life, 
right? For Renée, the West End fire never truly died out. Long after submitting the original article, she wrote another. This time, she asked for it to be run unedited. Eventually, Renée editor Wesley agreed to publish the article. He was fired soon thereafter. Lucas fought hard to regain respect of at the police department, which eventually caught the eyes of his superiors. He was offered a promotion, but turned it down. He kept his reasons for himself. He's currently single. For Renée, nothing will be the same. The newspapers one by one turned against her. Her voice was being silenced. But maybe they will listen to someone else. So it didn't help that she was trying. Alright, so Eli. So we I did that thing, let's see if it works for him to not for them not to die in this. Do you hear that? I reckon you are right. Is everything in order? We all set? Alright, do you remember what you're going to tell him? Mm. And while we're out there, we figure out what exactly this thing is, as well what the HQ intentions are. We took care of most preparation yesterday, as long as we are throughout, we should be fine. All right, I have empty journal. Then something that contradicts what we tell him. Did you do that today? Yeah. Did you do today's entry uh, yet? No. All right. I think I hear the car get close. You'll fill that in. I'll go do some light meet and greet. Start with some gold. Basics: temperature, day planning, listen. Okay. Yeah. Add the hidden message. Huh. I'm not gonna uh, do all that. You never know what could happen. Hey. Ah, and you must be ally. Please to meet you, amigo. I was just getting acquainted with your boss here. Uh, democracy, so morning. You guys are regular progressives. Uh, that's it. Uh, one of you has to be the senior one. Isn't that right? If there's something I know, boys, it's that there is always someone out here calling the shots. Huh. Ah, man, it really is well out here. Huh? You two had a chance to call dibs on your own private kingdom, but you are ruling it like it's, I don't know, less fun than that. But hey, I'm not here to yoke anyone's here. You guys do whatever works for you, that's what I say. Right, right, I forgot the two of you and seen other people in Mom's now. Stranger like me coming into camp has to be really bad for you guys, huh? Bet it gets real lonely out here. <laughs> uh -huh. You don't say, well, aren't two of you brave to explore something else? If it were me, I'd want plenty of people around, lots of you too, but hey, to each their own. If that's what the wasteland marks has said, then sure, let's get on to the brass tracks. Yeah. Well, I've never been on one for long, tedious briefs here. Why don't you just give me the broad strokes on what's going on with your little, let's say, friend? Uh huh. Dangerous, I see, I see. That's got a twilight and other less of stress surviving out here. Tell me, how dangerous exactly? A pheromone. So what? It shows out little clouds of gas. You guys out here in this place in it wearing gas masks. Oh. I bet couple of smart guys. Like you got to know what you are doing, right? Anything I should keep in mind when I see it? Oh. Well, first things. 
first things first, the boring ones are supposed to. Do you, you keep a Della Johnny award, correct? The proper protocol and all that. Let's start there. Where do you keep one? Oh, I'm sure you, I can find my way. I bet you don't keep it out here in the camp. Is that right? In the tent, perhaps, if you don't mind. I'll have to have a look. Perfect, I'm sure one of you can fill the, in the blanks and provide me with the little tech context to... I'm not too keen on going over the mobs, okay? I don't know how ready he was to invite himself to the tent. Don't let him rummage around in here. In there on his own, keep an eye on him. There's always a lead scientist, man. He's probably used to that by now, so anything other than that is well posted suspicious. Might not have been the best thing to say, but hey, that's what we are sticking with now. Hey! Close the little place you got here. Uh -huh, listen, now that we are speaking privately, I'm right to assume the almost thing is something of a compromise. I mean, I can tell you are the one calling it shot around here. Is that an narration just to keep your pal? Hmm. Oh, I don't doubt it. Neither of you will be out here if you weren't. All I'm saying is that in my experience, certain reports to HQ tend to be assigned by to a single name. For simplicity's sake, of course. Alright, alright, I know, I know, the moxie till the end, and that it, it's really nice to see the two of you working together like this, it is truly is, but only one of you is going to get their name on this thing once it's over, Sherry never got anyone a fancy car or sexy title. Sure, of course, it does always pay off in the ways you expect, that's for certain. And for some more than others too, speaking of us, this George. Tell me about him, what's he like? Not professional, but I suppose what makes him tick. Alright, right, Mr. West End, can't imagine you'll blend in well, Science City either. Did you know him before you two became scientists of the century out here? Got it, got it. So you two weren't close then. Maybe you still aren't all things considered. Is that so? Well, ain't that grand. Just two pals out here being pals and make sense to score. You two are an interest pair, I'm sure. Anyway, let's have a look at the journal, shall we? I'll confess, I had a bit of a look in there before you got in. Did get fire tossed on the toy, no spoilers. Oh. Well, let's start from top. Will you mind showing me around which time you fell for stuck here? There you go. August 14, I see your colleague mentioned something about the low hum. This turned out to be the scientific discovery of the center, I presume. Huh. Ain't that something? In the ground, but purring like a bay. Sounds like you fell, so I have no clue what you were in for. Anyway, moving on. Oh, looks like there's a page missing here, and that's something. You got any idea what happened here? Pants, hate those things. Always clicking ink. Exactly where you don't want them to, or sometimes exactly where you, you do. I stick to typewriters, honestly. I, I shouldn't lie. I don't do much writing anywhere. <laughs> How do you keep going? How much about we keep going? Yeah. Oh, I'm a little curious about this part. I know you two are uh, democracies by now. How come you were the one is that you two off start experiment? Oh yeah, so say so right here too. And well, you fellas had a good reason to worry, didn't you? No doubt, no doubt. God say class, you kept some immaculate notes at times of the writing, but.
Anyway, let's looks like about it, isn't it? Well, right, pr pretty fairly stand up updates as far as I can see. Oh. And that's about it. Want that short and switch, just how I like it. Sorry about all the questions, guys. I know this stuff can get a little nerve wracking. No hard feelings, right? Great, great. Well, let's get on with the rest of the tour then. I assume the two of you have separate ledger for more authentic Momo Jump, right? <laughs> no, 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 I'm sure I'll find it. Kind of, wa kind of want to have a look around the site to still boggles to mind how distant this place is. You got any idea how far you guys are from the wall? I do. You know, you guys are far, far out. Shit! If you guys went missing, no one will notice. No one will know. <laughs> oh, bro, you got that right. Uh, anyway, I'm going to have a look around the camp. If you don't mind, will you appreciate your expertise while I'm going through your research? No rush, of course. Hmm. You already suspect of something, right? I think he already suspects of something in there. Hey, ah. Uh. Class, I gotta say, you two have kept this camp pristine considering you are in the middle of the desert. What's your secret? Uh, you just need freak? Uh. Huh. Right, well, of course, Lisa. I keep thinking about it. What's like out here? You know, being out in the wild. In the wilds, the wilderness, the wastes. Really? Man, I can't imagine. I'll go crazy in a day or two, I'm sure. The heat, the dust, the emptiness. If it indeed is empty out here, not worry, something horrible is going to come walking to camp someday and tear you fell to shreds. Huh. Hmm. No, that's a relief then. A fellow is liable to make all sorts of mistakes when he worries his life is on the line. Makes you careless, nervous. You two never had problems like that, did you? I couldn't say. All I know is that I can't wait to get back to the city's hall. On that note, how about we get back to work? Less ledgers here. Am I correct? Am I correct in assuming that's a combination of six months work by a certain super genius? Uh. Ah, right, right, right. These are certainly notes, research, lots of, and lots of words, say. Say, you won't mind if I skip ahead to more crucial paths, do you? Much appreciated. Right, let's see here. Hmm, you fellas say this thing is real dangerous, but you want to keep it out here in the dig site inside a tiny pot? That seems careless at best. Oh, of course, all about compromise, aren't you? How about George? He feels the same way about this? Huh. That's a good man, he's counting on you too. You fellas rely on each other. Alright, that's all I need to know. Confirm that you fellas are close knit and all that. Trusting. Interesting, ain't you? Well, I'm not complaining as long as I'm in your little circle of friends now, too. Oh, no. Of course, of course, I can respect that. You need to know who your real friends are, don't you? I'm not worried, Glass. I'm sure you'll figure it out real soon. Good stuff, gotta say, all things considered with what we have, it's impressive work to have been done out in the desert. Limited tools, limited resources, case stuff, but you guys made something out of it. But you are happy about all of HQ support, huh? Yeah, rashy stuff, that kind of thing. Well, you fellas seem to have done a great job at it. Hypothetically, if I were to just jump in the car and drive off, leaving you guys out here, how long do you think you'll make it? Oh. I don't know, should you? <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, glass. Relax, no need to worry about food. I got you covered. Probably got snack or chew in my car that you fellas can have, huh? Oh, come on, glass, lighten up a bit. I'm just fucking with you, Isal. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to have a look at the rest of the camp of yours, and we need to have a look at your little friend, don't we? <laughs> In a moment, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a look, a little stroll. Okay.
I'm following you. Oh, hey. This is it, huh? This is our little guy. I see, on that, uh, I feel like I can hear humming. And that something. So this thing just came out of the ground. Uh, crazy. How do you figure out it ended up finding it? Uh, well, we call this the waste, don't we? Ain't nothing out here, not as far as I know. And then you fellas make this little scrubby. How do you think what that happened? HQ knew it was all out here? told me, I'm not HQ, I'm afraid, so there's not much I can say. I figure a couple smarts like you will have some clever ideas about it. Huh. Right, right, then again it was that you first found something, didn't you? Seems an awful convenient coincidence. How do you think they knew? Ah, you know, it's funny. I was actually told something very similar not too long ago. It's interesting, isn't it? How we all sort of assume we are the only one in our particular predicaments. Ah. Hmm. Comical that. No matter how bizarre the situation you find yourself in, there's always someone else out there going through the same thing, I can guarantee you. Huh. And that's something. Now, get, to get back to this, you mentioned this thing being real dangerous, right? Any precautions we need to take? No, it's glass. I won't touch this thing unless I had to. You don't mind if I have a little bit of a look then? A few plastic glass. Ah. There, I think I see it. So, he's the... Oh shit, the little bus is upset, ain't he? You see, it's supposed to wiggle around like that? I mean, it looks like it's trying to break through the glass. Well... I'll just expect back it up a little bit in that case. Holy shit, glass. And you think you can't keep that mines that thing secure out here in the middle of the desert? Ah. Oh no, not at all. I'm just well point taken, I suppose. Still chance RHQ are going to want to see it. That might mean a trip to the city for this little whatever it is. Eh. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm sure your notes and research will cover it. There may be some gaps around here and there, but live boy, boys back at Science City are clever enough to piece it together, I'm sure. They have to do that before, anyway. I know, I know, Burak is a real bitch, eh? Look, I know you have strong feelings about it, I can tell. How about we talk it over? You know, all three of us. I will just over by the car, it's all. Tell you what, I'll grab our little friend here and we can have a good chat, all the four of us. Huh. Don't worry, I'm stronger than I look. Don't mind carrying out uh, no gun. Hmm. I wanted to carry, but didn't let. Hey. There, all done. Bet you boys are a little at this inspection, it's so over. Check out that. Safe and stuck in my back seat. Let's just hope I don't hit any bumps in the road and way back. Heh, <laughs> huh? <laughs> of course, God, you don't mind though, I still got my finish my bro. We'll do a quick repair. Then again, patience of your attention. I promise, but you'll get to ask your question enough. Excellent, let's start with simple stuff, yeah. I'm sure there's a whole section of pers on personability and cooperation. Personality assessment, if you will. Since we have done most of the talking, Eli, I'll just put you down as the main subject. Huh. Right, now, uh, cooperation be fine, no denying that. It doesn't mean particularly engaging, though. Professional strategy, just like making connection, getting to know people, seeing what makes them tick, and I don't mean and bad, but you fellows are grey as concrete. Huh. 
usually is, I'll be honest though, as interesting as your workout here may be, I'm just not keen on dealing with a couple of boards. Was hoping you'll be more fun than the others, more interesting, more charismatic. Oh well, more, oh well, more the pity. Yeah. There, I'll tell you guys, the thing, the thing's real, uncomfortable. Ought to get myself a new all star something. No, no, let's not get all jumpy. It's a gun, that's true. You've seen one before. I've seen one before. There's no need for excitement. Listen, ally. You two have been out here for a while now, and it's apparent that you have forgot about chain of command. Got a little too big for your breach? Happens to the best of us. I'm just here to whip things back into shape. Well, that's kind of you. It's also not the issue, class. The issue is two fellas out here on the science seat operation. Sounding like you are wanting to turn into the ally on George show. That's, that just ain't how things are done. I want to go through this step by step. I feel more morally obligated to present the full extent of the impression you have made on me. You want George, this camp, your challenge, your research, to full Monty. Let's start with this little yarn you have been spinning me. This thing being really dangerous. This chemical bomb alien monster. Pod based killer. It's a cute story, I'll give you that. Almost like a long, a lone star novel or something. Two lone science discovered something terrifying the death and all that. Don't get me wrong, it probably make for a great book. It's a shame I'm not a big reader. <sighs> I saw it outside the way you want me to see it. You had a day to plan, fellas. You expect me to believe you didn't take some liberties with framing and presentation? Come on, class, be serious. Tell the truth. I'm sorry, fellas, but that's not going to cut it. If I can't get a straight answer from you two, from the two of you, I'm going to have to get it from the boys at HQ. If that means driving this thing all the way to sign and sit, so be it. Eh. What can I say, Glass? In this case, like many other times before, the truth does not, don't matter all that much. I'll be blunt, fellas. I don't trust you. If I just leave, the two of you are going to start getting desperate. Maybe you'll feel all around with that retro attempt to build a car. Try your hand at the upper. Who knows? On that, I can't abide. <laughs> That's right. Sorry, boys. End of the line. Ah, uh, jeez. Fellas, really? Ah. Uh. I'm supposed, fellas. I totally am. Suppose you are too. The end need to end this way. Cool for trying to. Guess that's where the Marcus gets you, huh? Misery for everyone involved. Well, guys, it's been real, but all cool things come to an end. Don't worry, though. I'll take cool care of your little discovery. Adios, fellas. The pledge was all mine. Damn it! Ah, I wonder where it was that I fuck up. A dark sun set over the six side on the alley, and George were killed. The visitor upon arrival received sole credit for the acquisition of the artifact. Soon thereafter, however, his name and title were struck from all official records. Both Ella and George's families made inquiries regarding their whereabouts and never received a reply. The artifact was presented to Dr. Eddie Young, I, Hanky Bio Biochemist at Science City. Any warning of its nature was brushed aside. There was too much to gain from continuing the experience. The visitor, of course, earthly agreed. He would later be given a substantial bonus before uh, being terminated. The dig site was abandoned after the visit. No official records mentioned its significance or location. The site remained untouched, decaying in the wastelands for years. Not it was once again found. Someone or something had made its way back. And that's it. That's all uh, the stories. It's like, it's a cool game. Uh, of course, if you want to try to get different endings, you need to play it again, different choice, you know, different traits to see it. But overall, it was pretty cool to see uh, what I will get, you know. Uh, unfortunately, there was those frame drops, like after a certain time, it started to drop frames, which was weird. I thought it was because I was fast in that part and it started to drop frames, but then uh, it happened again. It looks like after uh, an hour or something, it starts to drop frames, which is very weird, so, I don't know, 
I don't know why it started to, uh, to drop the, the frames like that, but uh, overall it was pretty cool to play the game, you know, see the, the seeing uh, what will happen in the end from the choice that you will do. So if you like these type of games with a lot of narrative, uh, different endings that then you can replay to get a uh, different one, you can buy it already, it's already available on Steam. You don't need to play the first one, the uh, Backbone, you don't need it. You can play. You can buy this one without knowing anything about the backbone. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think it's only on Steam that's available. I don't think it came out on consoles, but I can say for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's already available uh, to buy. If you play this one, uh, it's like uh, you could try a, a backbone too because it's a good game. But the problem is the story. The th it changed a lot in at certain point, and then like it doesn't even end properly you know it's like there's an opening for the continuation but it's up to you if you never play backbone it's up to you to to say if you want to play that one too or not right. so it's probably there's nothing after credits right because you see the endings it explains in there what happens right for each one so probably there's nothing after after credits it will be weird you can't even skip credits. Egg nut. <clears throat> but it was pretty cool. Seeing the choice that you make, things that you say, happening have a consequence in uh, other chapters. And then there is a new game plus, huh? Interesting. So, hope you guys enjoy here the playthrough of Tales, the Backbone Preludes. See you guys next time. Bye.